And we back on a special episode Sunday playoff preview, Real Sports Fan Podcast, season three, episode 26. Got a very special group with me today. Uh, some guys you've seen with me before, uh, some for the first time, some missing action, might be on later. But we are uh, happy to be back again. It's uh, Sunday, uh, August the 16th, 4.07 p.m. Appreciate everybody that's tuning in. Appreciate everybody that's always supporting uh, Real Sports Fan Podcast. Uh, we're here to give you everything NBA today. Uh, kickoff of the NBA uh, playoffs is tomorrow. It's been a great bubble. Uh, but let me introduce who I have with me uh, today. First, I got uh, the, the, the man who uh, doesn't need any introduction. He always wants to argue with me. Even before we got on here, he wants to talk about the Packers, wants to talk about the Clippers. Uh, Felix Weeks, a.k.a. Move On. What's good, bro? <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, good to see you, dog. It's a good, good to see you. It's a, it's a pleasure to have you back on, man. You, you know, you know, I can't wait to to get in the ring with you one more time, man, and, and we get it in, man. So appreciate you, you know, big I'm dog. Keep it, you know, I'm gonna keep it a hundred. That's what I love. That's what I love. So we got Felix with us, uh, right below me, uh, for the first time on the Real Sports Fan Podcast. Catch him coming up in October, uh, October the fifth. We got, we're gonna have a special episode uh, live. But I, I got my boy in the building. G Ville, what's good, bro? What's up, bro? What's up? What's up? Thank you much. Hey, we we here, man. We here. We here. Right, right. Get into it and, and talk, man. Thanks for jumping on, man. I know I hit you last minute, so thanks, thanks, thanks for jumping on. Yeah. No, no doubt, no doubt. Got the man right, right beside you, uh, uh, uh Mr. S dot A dot, uh, Sam I am. What's good? What's good? What you saying? Man, another day. Happy to be back. Happy to be back. No doubt. No doubt. And then, and then below him, we got got the low post killer. You know what I'm saying? Go over the right shoulder, left shoulder, whatever you need. Uh, D Skinner, what's good, bro? Ain't not much. I'm already taking my notes, man. Make sure I got my stuff together. <laughs> hey, ready? Got oh, to be I know. On point, oh, 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 hey, hey, that's right. That's right. Straight facts, no, right? I got, I got to facts. be on point, no, <laughs> no doubt, no doubt, no doubt. And look, uh, uh, if anybody can find Ron Wright, tell him we are waiting on him. Uh, he's supposed to be on the show as well. I ain't heard from him. I hope he's all right. You know what I mean? But um, if he jumps on, you know, he'll jump on. If not, you know, we'll keep him moving, man. So, but we got a great group um, today that's going to talk. Like you said, we're going to break down these rounds of the playoffs. Um, you know, I think I speak for everybody who can say, you know, the, the bubble games, the seeding games are very competitive. Uh, I mean, they, they went at it. Even yesterday's playing game with, with Memphis and, and Portland, one point win by Portland. I mean, it was a great, great game and a great set of games and, and guys are playing real hard. Uh, everybody's been been COVID free. Let's let's hope that continues. Um, still been uh, preaching the Black Lives Matter and and, and equality and everything. So uh, the platform they've been using that has been awesome, um, and we've got some great basketball. So um, again, thank you, thank you, everybody. Share share this post. Um, you know, make sure you set up your watch parties and catch it on YouTube later. All that good stuff. We're gonna get into it, um, fellas, fellas, fellas. Um, you know, first and foremost, I want to get into. Um, I mean, we we ain't gonna you know we ain't gonna wait for nobody. We're gonna get right into the Lakers and Blazers. Uh, Lakers and Blazers set to meet one C versus the AC. And and before I give it, you know, I know we didn't talk about what order we gonna go in, but 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 before I, I hand it over to somebody to give me your thoughts on what the on what the series is gonna be, I must say. Without a, without you know having a, a a a dog in the race for in this series, everybody knows I'm a Heat fan. Shout out Tyler Hero, but I am surprised. I gotta say that I'm hearing so many people pick the Blazers. It's just it's just surprising, and, and I've never seen so many people pick against a one seed, <laughs> and, and and I want to pick against a one seed, but then a one seed that has LeBron on there in the Western Conference now, which everybody said he couldn't you know play in the West, and I, you know we don't really hear that too much anymore uh, but I'm kind of surprised you know and in and, and the history of the game you know in the five game series back in the day we seen uh, Denver beat Seattle right the Kemba remember him laying on the ground with the ball you know I, I, that was 94 you know obviously the the, the Knicks beat the uh, Heat uh, then he go to seven games you know Golden State uh, the 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 uh, with Matt Barnes and Steven Jackson and, and, and Baron Davidson they beat Dirk in them in 07 so that was the first time you seen in the seven game series and then later you seen you know, Memphis beat San Antonio. 
and you even seen uh, Philly beat Chicago, but I don't count that one because Derrick Rose is hurt. But I'm going to hand it to Skinner. Skinner. Yes, sir. Are you surprised that you're hearing so many people pick the Blazers? And in turn with that, can you give me an early prediction on what you expect in that series? I think people are picking the Blazers mainly because of how, for one, how the Lakers are looking in the in the bubble. I mean, our offense is atrocious. And now a lot of that is to do, but, you know, it does take LeBron to get cranked up a little bit. We've been missing Rondo to help facilitate some of the offense, which does put a lot more pressure on LeBron. Um, and then also when you look at how well the Blazers are actually playing. So you got the Lakers looking bad and people jump on hot takes all the time. But if you remember, mm-hmm. I said from the beginning, Portland was going to sneak in there and because and, they, they haven't really been healthy all year. Nurture is a huge yeah, we had mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So the fact that they got in and they've been looking the way they're looking, scoring 125, 130 points a game, and the Lakers are struggling to get over 100 against some suspect defenses at some, at some time. So – I'm not surprised mm-hmm. to see people picking them. Now, with that said, I'm still rolling with the Lakers. Um, I think I think Brian is going to find a way. I don't. That'd be crazy at this point in his career to not get out of round one. And you know, I got I got the yeah. Lakers, and and I got them in seven though. I, I think it's going to be a doggy series. Ooh, okay. They don't have anybody to match up with either one of those guards. Even if Rondo's healthy, he can't guard CJ McCollum. And it's, I know CJ McCollum got that back problem, but the last few games he's been back at it. So we don't have anybody on the wing that can really match up with those two. But at the same time, they don't have nobody for LeBron. Like, they don't have the wing. Melo is, is you know, he's going to knock down a couple clutch shots. He can't guard LeBron James. Like, let's, let's, not, let's, let's not even, you know, uh, debate that one. And then you talk about what that's going to do when you have to double LeBron with his vision, his ability to control the game. Guys are going to eat. So I still got somehow Lakers pulling that off in seven. Lakers in seven. So you heard the first prediction. There, let me try to write this down. Skinner got the Lakers in seven. If anybody knows Skinner, he is a Lakers fan. Uh, but being that, that you can he- also hear, though, how much he is worried about Portland because he's got them going seven. And me and him had that conversation before. I think even when you was over here at Skinner, I think I, I had Memphis getting in. You had Portland. So you, yeah. you, you definitely said Portland for you know for a minute. Um, I'm, I'm going to turn it to G-Ville. Before I, before I turn to G-Ville, I do want to, because um, I know he's going to do it, but I do want to applaud, and I'm happy for Melo, man. I'm happy for Melo yeah, big time. that everything Melo went through and, and the way they tried to screw him over that, you know, he he back in the league, in the playoffs, and playing great, man. Had, had 20, great. had 21 yesterday. I mean, he's he's played great, hitting the corner Clutch three shot. and yeah. finding the post-ups, you know, uh, tough shots, uh, timely shots, clutch shots. I mean, all that, man. So, footwork. Yeah, man, yeah, man. The footwork is again is still crazy. It's just you know, it's just dope to see, man. But but Gary, man, give me I, I know you're a big Mellow fan, and you might want to speak on Mellow and then also you heard you heard Skinner say uh four three in favor of the Laker against Portland. Give me your prediction as well. Man, I mean, first of all, with Mellow, I'm I'm enjoying it, loving everything I'm seeing, but of course I would love Portland in this series, but I gotta be realistic. So I'm going to say the same, but I'm going to go with, I'm going to say Lakers in six. Um, I just, I don't see nobody on Portland guarding LeBron. Uh, The only person that would even come to doing anything would be Trevor Ariza, and he stayed home. So, you know, that's going to hurt them right there. Uh, As far as the Lakers, though, they had, they they hadn't looked good in the bubble, but I think they'll they'll be ready come playoffs. There's, There's no, really no home court advantage, though. That's one thing that's big. Point. Is, um, but I, I, I'm still going to go with Lakers, though. Lakers is six. I guess Gary got Lakers is six. And, you know, that's a great point you made about the um, – about the home, court the home court advantage. You know, and as a one seed, you know, normally – especially coming to L.A., people having to come to L.A., you know, that's a big deal. You know, not just for – that, you know, that, but walking in Staples Center, seeing the jerseys, the – Seeing Jack Nicholas, you know, seeing all these celebrities, yeah. and then all, e- even right. even you know the nightlife and stuff like that, you're not going to have it now. But at the same time, Portland, the Rose Garden is always a tough place to play. So yeah. you know, you know how it used to be where people say, "Well, playoffs don't really start until the visiting team went on the other team's floor." You you don't have that now. So yeah. if someone's down too well, you know, it, it's not going to be probably as big of a deal as it would have been in the past. I'm, I'm not saying they 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 not going to have to win Game Three. I'm just going to say that, that without that home court advantage, without those fans there, virtual fans has been great, but that don't count. It's going to be different, you know, and that home court advantage for either side, 
you know, it's, it's going to be different. And, and that, and that can actually, as I'm saying that, that can actually even favor Portland even a little bit more because yeah. you don't have that, you know, you don't have that. So it's going to be good. But you saying four too, that, that, I mean, that says a lot being that you're a big mellow fan. That says a lot. Yeah. You're still, I mean, you know, going with I'm, yeah. a, I'm a big mellow fan. Mello, Mello's playing defense now, but uh, I just don't, I don't see them. I don't see them beating Lakers like that. Man, you need to see it. Yeah. <laughs> go ahead. Let me go to Felix right now. I'm gonna get the same. Let me go to Felix because I see he 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 itching to get in. Go ahead, Felix. Let, let me hear Lakers in Portland. Talk to me. And, 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 and before you talk, before I'm sorry, before you talk, I'm gonna put it out there. Me, me and Felix, you know, we we do have a, a nice little wager on on uh, some ribs and some uh some roast. Um, you know that 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 the Lakers. He said, forget the Lakers losing the Clippers. You know, because I can understand you feel that way. Hey, I understand Clippers. You know, probably the best thing right now, but. Felix said they're not even gonna get to the conference finals, so that's what our wager is on. So talk to me. Is it gonna be the first round or the second round? But talk to me about Portland and LA, Felix. It's a good chance it's gonna be the first round, and I'm gonna tell you hmm. why. I mean, these guards that the Lakers got are so funny. I don't even really know who, who start. Caru- do Caruso start? Nah, Caruso don't start. Mm-hmm. They they had they had KCP in there now instead of Bradley, KCP but he, he missed the last game. Yeah, okay, so that's even was in there, so I don't know Caruso. what they're going. That's even funnier than Caruso. That's <laughs> even funnier. KCP, Caruso, <laughs> Quinn Cook, and then you got Damian Lillard, the best player in the bubble right now. How are you going to stop? Yeah, I him? agree. He's the best player in the bubble. I agree. He's the best that's player the first, in the bubble. That's the that's the first point. That's the first okay. point I got. Now you got Collins, you got Whiteside, and you got Nurchik. You can give him, you can give AD all different kind of looks, throw him off his game. You know he had a funny okay. games. Get physical with him. He injury prone. If he has any funny <laughs> games, they're in big trouble. That's another reason. And so like he's is, going Portland. And I, I'm, I'm definitely going Portland. And I don't think it's going to so take no seven games. What's it going to take? Six? <laughs> Maybe. Oh man, don't, come on! Don't let him in the first two. They go, Don't let them go in the first two. Five. Man, these boys there. on fire, man. You see what they had to do man. to get there? They're on fire. All right. And the, the like you said, right. the so, score so, 105 points. They score 105 points a game. Is it, is it 4-2 four, four, or 4-1 four, Portland? So I can write this down, actually. 4-2 four, or 4-1. Four, you might want to take that other game. 4-2 Portland. 4-2 four, Portland. Four, two. Four, two, Portland. You got that much respect for them. Okay, 4-2 Portland. Anybody want to jump in there before we get to fast? I know y'all might want to get in there. Somebody want to get in there? I mean, he kind of looks bad. Don't he kind of said the same. No, Whiteside looked all right the other night. Um, no, yeah. Yeah. They yeah, got yeah, a problem. No, Whiteside looked good the other they night. They're just good. not giving them a lot of minutes. Exactly. He looked bad last night. They got a problem for a lot of minutes for Whiteside. They yeah. saving him for this. They saving him for this, for this moment right now. They get ready to give him minutes. Okay. He get ready to give him real right. Hold, 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 Hold on for a second. Hold on for a second. Did y'all say Whiteside? Yeah. Oh, I'm not worried about him. All right. Go ahead, Skin. But I, I, I do agree. Not worried about him. The man, I, I, I agree with a lot of what uh, what Felix said, especially about the Lakers guards, because again, like I said from the beginning, they don't have anybody to match up with Dame or CJ McCollum. And honestly, that boy, uh, uh, Gary Temple, Trent. not Gary Temple, uh, Gary Trent, Trent. Trent. he's shooting Trent. the ball. Trent. Yo, he's nice coming off that bench. Yeah. He's shooting the ball, man. Yeah, he's shooting the ball good. But ball the good. biggest difference to me is no, they don't got more depth. They don't got more depth. They don't got more depth. They don't no, got they more depth. Now, the you want to talk about Greg LeBron's still the depth. Yeah, they, they got eight. Yeah. Let, let me, let me, let me, before, LeBron before, I'm, I'm, Felix, Felix, I'm going to come, I'm going to come, I'm going to come back to you. Felix, I'm going to come back to you, then I got to get Sam. Let me, let me say this, and, and, and I love this. This is the first time with five people, so I love, we getting into it. But listen, as far as the Portland depth, let's talk about Portland's bench. You got Gary Trent and Skinner say, lights out shooter. You know, with that dude, he wasn't shooting like that dude. Boy, put the work in. Gary Trent Jr. been have, playing good. They bring uh uh Hazonia off the bench. I like him. Plays hard, you know, uh plays plays D, can shoot the ball. Uh and they and, and Whiteside, as you mentioned, let's talk about Whiteside for a minute. Whiteside, former Heat player. It's all love. You know, he stole money from us. It's all love. But That's let me just say this about, about Whiteside. <laughs> let me say this. No, no, I'm not gonna hate on. I'm not gonna hate on. I'm not gonna hate on. Let me talk. Let me... <laughs> hey, I'm gonna come back to you, but let me say this about Whiteside. He shot a shot yesterday that he wasn't looking at the basket. Sometimes he likes to shoot them 17 footers. We'll give him them. I agree with saying he didn't play good the last game. Defensively, like you said, Garrett, to your point, this is the thing. He leads the team and leads the league in blocks, but 
he's not actually a very good defensive player. If you attack him in the pick and roll, which they're going to do a lot of, I, I, people say they can throw a lot of bodies at him. I agree to a point. I agree they have a lot of guys that can throw at him, but still they don't have enough guys that can slow AD down. If you, if you remember when AD and them played against them at, with the Pelicans without Boogie Cousins, they tore he tore Portland up, and they had nurtured. They, they didn't have White Sox. They had nurtured and all them. And they also played Gabriel a little bit. The guy, he's been in Kentucky. I don't know if y'all remember him in Kentucky a little bit. I like his energy, but they're not as deep as, as the Lakers. Go, go ahead, Phil. That was then, and this is now. <laughs> so four two. Then, just, and this is now. <laughs> These boys are hungry, man. They know they got. They know they're the underdog. They don't have nothing to lose. You right. At all. You right. You right. I agree with Damian that. Miller I agree with that. Is the best player in the bubble. I agree with that. LeBron I agree with that. James is fifty years old now. <laughs> it's not the same no so more. Then you're in two games, just like that. So let me let me say this before I get to saying. Let me say this. I understand that we haven't seen the Lakers play good. Skinner was right on it. You know, we haven't seen Lakers play good for a while. But as, as I've said, this is way before, you know, all this. I, you know, I said, and Skinner kind of mentioned that, it takes him a little bit more to 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 tune it up than it does, say, a Kawhi and PG, some of the younger guys. It's like a it's like when, you, when you're starting a truck or a car outside and it's cold out. It takes a little while to warm up. So that's why before the season – stop they're right to that point where they were starting to play good now when, when you stop it, it, he got he got to take some time to get going and at the same time your mindset no is nothing to play for like i understand they didn't look that good i agree with y'all but it's hard to get up for some of the games and, and not want to get hurt and stuff like that that's why i don't know if y'all seen it but the last game he played the first half against sacramento lebron did and he, and, he, and he looked good he had like 17 or 19 that was just a rhythm thing for him but watch how watch how he attacks. I'm gonna get back to you. Let me go to saying we've been saying. Go ahead, saying. Give me your prediction, sir. I'm gonna go straight Lakers four two, Lakers and six. Straight back to four and two. Reason, All right, give me give me give, yeah, give me some reason. Yeah, the reason I say that is because if you look at Portland's play in the fourth quarter, they always down at some point in time, and LeBron's the he's, he's the point guard. He's gonna manage that fourth quarter, get that good shot for AD or so. I'm going four two. So so so, what do you think the matchups are going to look like? I know you said LeBron's at the point. Obviously, he's at the point guard. What are the defensive matchups going to look like on both sides? Because as Felix, you know, and Gary were both saying about obviously Melo can't guard LeBron, but as Felix said, they don't have anybody for Dane, which I agree with, and, and CJ for their guards. They rarely their best defensive guard is out. So, what do you think some of the matchups or some of the things you're going to have to exploit? In, in, what's, in, Colin's in ankle, what's, what's Colin's ankle injury look like? Is he is he going to play game one? Collins is Collins will be fine. He'll be out there starting, but but I mean, yeah, he 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 ain't a factor to me, but you know, no, don't he's, say a body. That line. he's a no, factor. He's a body. He's a body. He's a body. Collins don't forget the, don't forget that. The, that the, Collins, the, Zach Collins from Gonzaga. Yo, Zach <laughs> he barely Collins, played. Right, yo. He barely played yesterday, man. He, oh, yeah, oh, he nice. Oh, hey, he can hit the he can hit the corner three. Yeah, he can hit the corner that, three. Yo. He tough. Zach, Zach, he tough. But what I'm saying, what I'm saying is this. When I'm saying that for a series like this, you're right. A Zach Collins, he's going to have to be an X factor to win. Because this is the thing. Dane's going to get his. All y'all talking about Dane's going to yeah. get his. CJ's going to get his. LeBron's going to get his. AD's going to get his. It's going to come down to the X factor guys. It, can Kuz deliver? Can can he give him one good game or two good games? He ain't. No, You can't say that. You just no, can't no, say that like that. The, 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 the big matchup is going to be great. Anytime you got JaVale. Cause I, that's what I like. I like I like you know Felix and Skinner. I know you, you know y'all know how we get down back down low with with, with the white and Javale and then with White Side and and Nurse it, and he had what twenty one and twenty two. You know Grandma passed away. Go ahead, say her. I mean, about he, he played great. Hit the three. No, I like Nurse. That's my boy. Oh, okay. I like Nurse. He tough. Oh no, I like Nurse. No, I like him. No, I like him. He, I like him a lot. He he good. He good. I so like Zach Collins too, that that, that matchup like is gonna be good. <laughs> Zach is cool. Zach is cool. Yeah. I like him better than JaVel McGee. Man, JaVel McGee's a bum. Not, not as a starting Brady. center. Not as a starting center. Man, JaVel McGee gave you 10 points bump. just off of dunks. McGee's Man. a bum. We, we get, nobody in there is a bum. So we're not going to use that. Crazy. You crazy. You crazy. Nobody, nobody's crazy. a bum. You crazy. Right. And the White's a bum, right. too. Yeah. Now, let me get down hey, to Come on, man. They're not, they're not bums. You can't say they're bums. You're talking crazy about Collins and Nergic. You need to talk about Collins. Collins. I didn't say bad about Nergic. Trash. I didn't say bad about nurture. Quote me correctly. No, no, if you don't quote me, sir. I didn't say anything bad about nurture. I just said that Collins is not a factor. What I mean by Collins is he's a nice piece. He's a nice piece. 
but don't but don't tell me he's he's the the god of word if, if he give him whatever they no I, I just don't believe it but can i get my prediction i don't know what happened to saying uh can i get my prediction because I, I, so we got four three lakers skinner and he's talking about changing you want to change no, i was joking i, I was joking i was joking oh, okay <laughs> you got four <laughs> two lakers you got, you, hey you smart man go ahead and change it up <laughs> Felix they four two four. Like and Muhammad Fe- Ali did when he Sonny Liston. Felix didn't even want to give him two games, but he gave him two. Four two Portland. The way and they Sam, look, and Sam no, got oh, Sam oh. got four two, and Sam got four two Lakers. All right, now I've got. I'm gonna wait till Sam get on here so I can so he can hear me. Um, but but I understand. I mean, and, and I appreciate everybody. What everybody said is 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 it's a lot of back and forth, which I like. Even if you go on. Uh, social media. I've heard a lot of people picking Portland, and, and I agree with y'all. They don't have the guards uh, to play. But this is the thing: I, I got LA four two, um, and let me tell you why. I got the Lakers four two. To be honest with you, I wonder. I wonder being Lakers four um, one, but I, I, I respect David Little more than that. So I got to give him two two games. And this is the thing, Felix. You're right. Little's going to give you one game by himself. He's going to have one of those games where it's just nothing you can do. But I, I think with the other stuff, what you have to do is Dame's going to get his. But can CJ be consistent? I'm a big CJ fan, and, and Gary tell you that since Lehigh, you know. But he's got to be consistent, giving it to you with or without the back injury. Uh, Nurture, you know, I think with the bigs that, that the Lakers have, they can hold they can hold him and hold them down below what they're usually going to do. I think one thing we're forgetting about Portland and we're forgetting about Lakers is this: Portland is a terrible defensive team. Yeah. I mean, I mean, I don't know if y'all seen Karis LeVert in, in, in the Nets, but I mean, they didn't. They they had guys. They had Gary Temple and and guys, other guys like that playing. It wasn't KD and and, and Kyrie and them out there, and they should have won that game. I, right. And I'm not just talking about one game. I'm just making a point about their defense. Memphis, no Jaron Jackson. They still got. They were Anthony Tyler was out there. He's out there looking like me in o two o three hitting the three. You know, I mean, he he, he was looking good. Uh, uh, Valachunas was down there. But with the Lakers, y'all, I haven't heard anybody talk about how good a defense team they are. I know you haven't seen it in the bubble, but Frank Vogel is known. I know, hey, Fitters, don't say nothing about Frank Vogel, because I know you want to say something. Frank Vogel is known for his defense. Those those Pacer teams were defensive teams. If you look at the Lakers all year before he got to the bubble, defensive, they were they were great all year. And now you're going to see the offense get up to that. And I think what they have to do, I know Skinner's not going to agree with me, but I would put Kuz in that starting lineup at the three. Not not because he can go or because he plays hard, though. And when he's in there and he sees himself make shots, he plays better defense. Some guys are like that. Uh, Cornell Jenkins was one of them. He, he, he sees a shot go in, he going to slap the ground. He going to get in there and play some defense a little harder because he sees that. Guard-wise, okay, I agree with you. Felix Caruso needs to sit down. He needs to sit down for a while. He's not, it, this is not, I like Caruso, but he hasn't played good. Quinn Cook needs to get more time. Quinn Cook has won on, 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 on every level. He's a better. He's a he's a way better shooter than Caruso. He's a probably their best shooting their best shooting point guard they had. Well, he is. So I think that's going to play a role. And then again, Man, nobody can defense, guard LeBron though. or AD. Nobody can guard defense, LeBron or AD. You got to take him out the equation. Quinn Cook yeah, can yeah, guard You got to take him out the equation because he's going to get his little ass cooked. Yeah, Quinn Cook can guard him. Listen, listen, listen. Listen, y'all. They cannot stop Dane. I'm not saying they can stop Dane. No one's going to stop Dane. They they're not going to stop Dane. But what they're going to do is they still have to play their best guys that can hit make shots because as as you said, Dane's going to make shots. Uh, let me give you the uh, counter to that. going to make shots. Yeah, give me the let, counter. Let me give you the counter to that though. When, when you talk about Kuz, in the beginning of the season, Kuz was starting. Kuz doesn't. He he wants to get the ball and get going quick, fast, and the hurry. When he's in there with LeBron. When was Kuz, when was Kuz start? When was Kuz, Kuz start in the beginning of the season? No, Kuz didn't start. start. Kuz coming out the bench. He had, he had the ankle. He had the ankle injury. Had the ankle injury. He when he first start. came back, he didn't start. He, he, Hmm. No, no, they had, they, they had, they had Danny Green and Avery Bradley. They had Danny Green and Avery Bradley in there. They were the starters. Well, I must, I must call the yeah. couple. I'm going to go back and check that because I know a lot of times when I watch early in the season, he was struggling playing with LeBron. And that's mainly because Kuz won't get that ball and get it up quick. He liked coming off the bench so he can get his shots up. He don't, from what I used to see, uh, Kuz don't play that well playing with LeBron. And I think it's still going to be the same thing when he come back. LeBron is really a ball dominant type of guy. When I mean, you got a guy like Kuz, he's a shooter. He want to come in. Six man be the first option. Get his shots up early. I, I like him coming off the bench as opposed to starting. Yeah. Okay. So you like him coming off the bench? Well, if he come off the bench and start, he gonna have to. He gonna have to. He gonna have to produce for them to win. Of course. 
the Let first, the first round in every every round. But me personally, I would start him. But you know that's fine. But I, I'm fine with KCP starting too. I mean, I like I like KCP, but I just think for his confidence, <laughs> I I seen I seen that I seen that game start. See this? I'm not saying KCP is a star, but I'm he's saying awesome. he's, he's a good role player. Hey, ain't, ain't, you, ain't you a good role player on your team? Ain't you a good, don't you come and do the dirty work, hit the shot when you need to, I'll, I'll play good defense? I'll play. I'll come play. On. I come don't on get now. paid to basketball. I just like to play basketball. Man, I'm just saying. He, he's a good role player. We're talking about the NBA. He's a good role player. He's a good role player. He's funny. He's a good off role player. He's a, he's a role player. Off-brand guys that don't player. stand is just going <laughs> to disappoint you. They're going to but you say Nick Collins. I mean, Nick Collins. You say, but you they say uh, uh, the boy from the Zach. You hey, got me talking about Nick Collins from Kansas. They're on the Zach same Collins. level as Cook. They're on the same level as we need, we, Caruso, we need to talk, we need to talk Cook, about. We need to talk about Danny Green. Danny Green's a guy to one. You know Danny Green. Danny Green's a guy. Danny Green's a guy. Danny Green ain't nothing but a coattail holder. Oh, uh, now, 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 now that's all he is now. Now that's all he is now. I was going to go. He couldn't get with Kawhi, and he went went with LeBron. LeBron was a second option that's, for, for uh, That's Danny. what it is, huh? He was waiting. No, because Kawhi. He's a, he's a coattail right. holder. That's all he so is. So, can you give me – can you give me – since you're the only one that's saying Portland's going to win, can you give me another reason why Portland's going to win? Because I, I still haven't really heard the reason besides Dane. Is that, can you give me another reason besides their, – They don't have their defensive leader, Avery Bradley. The reason why their record was so good this year, because he anchored that defense. Am, am I, I wrong? He, well, he, didn't, he, didn't, he didn't anchor it because he, was, he wasn't a big man. But but he was in front of the defense, yeah. You ain't got to be a as big far, man to it, anchor it. Listen, listen. Let me say this. Let me say this. He's not there. I'm going to come back to you. I'm going to come back to you, Felix. Let me let me say this before I come back to you. And then I'm going to get Sam and, and Gary in here. This is my only point with that, is that I understand what, you know, what you're saying. You, you're saying about KCP. You're saying about that. They just see some of these guys that hit shots. That's all. That's why they. That's why they went and got Deion Wade, and that's why they went and got J.R. Smith, and, and it's in the third. I, right, right. But 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 this this is what I'm saying is I know you haven't seen this, you know, so far. I know I know that's what you're going off. I understand that, but I still haven't really got a valid other reason why you got Portland besides Dane because they're gonna need more than Dane. Is, is, are, is their defense gonna get better? Is their defense gonna get better. The physical play is going to affect AD. You that's know he don't, AD, like the bump. he don't like that's that. Bump that he don't like that. He beat them like already that. before. He beat them with he beat them without LeBron before. That was then and this is now. And he's got and he's got a five beside him now. He got Ooh. a five beside him now. Boogie got hurt. He got he got he got the white in Javel. The, they just try to beat him up. That's all. It's got to beat people up down there. Rebound. Come on, we rebound. You know that we rebound. Come on, rebound that's it outlet. Man. Comedy show, Dwight and Javel. That was funny. <laughs> <laughs> Sam, give me something else. Give me something else, and go. To, and we gonna go to Gary as far as uh, wrapping up this Portland and LA talk. Anything else that you want to add in there? Man, I just don't. I just don't see him getting past the two game, two victories for uh, for uh, the Trailblazers, man. I mean, you could. Yeah. Lillard and them gonna cancel each other out. Lillard gonna do him. McCollum gonna do him. LeBron and AD. Like some someone said earlier, it's gonna be that the role players who's gonna hit that big shot. And who's going to facilitate? And LeBron's going to facilitate that fourth quarter when they're down. So with no audience, no crowd, Quinn Cook may be the hit, <coughs> hit the big shot. Kuzma may hit the big shot. Outside of Melo and Dame, who else will hit the big shot for uh, for Portland? Or in Lillard, of course. But they don't have nobody else. And I, I don't, I can't even guarantee And I'm a Melo fan. I can't guarantee Melo's going to hit that big shot with LeBron out there on him if, if LeBron got the guard him. Yeah, we're going to see. That. Gary, go ahead and get in there. Get in there, Gary. <laughs> I mean, Melo, Melo to cook Brian all his career, but yeah, I just but don't. There's one thing about Anthony Davis, though, like Nurkish and Whiteside, they they really don't. They can try to rough him up, but they can't match up with that man outside. He can take him outside. All day. Can't guard him. That's yeah, they, go ahead, they can go ahead and turn That's him into Chris. They can do the same thing they did in Miami and turn uh, turn a dominant. The highest percentage. Don't confirm. I'm, don't confirm to Chris Bosh, though. And, and I love Chris Bosh. Don't confirm to Chris Bosh. That's all they're going to do. No, he's not going <laughs> to settle. He can take him off the dribble. He can take him off the dribble, Felix, out there. He can take him off the dribble out there. We ain't going to see. We should going to see. Hunger. Right, we're going to see. The hunger is different. The hunger is like different. Like you said, the hunger is different. Like you said, LeBron, really like all this lax of days ago, he could turn on when he get ready. No, he can't. 
He not. He, no, he can't. He don't got that. When did when did Michael Jordan ever had to turn it on? It stayed on. When did Kobe Bryant ever have to turn it on? It stayed on. Now you looking for the same type of genotype by LeBron James, and he don't got it. He don't got it, and his support not right. He always had big time support everywhere he went. Miami right. Heat. Yeah. So let me say, let me say huh? this. Let me let me let Skinner, let me let Skinner get in, and then I know. Look, we gotta talk about the rest of the games. But I know I know this. That's why I want to get to this one first. But I know this is gonna take the long. But I want Skinner to go. Then I, then we got some we got some comments on the uh, page. I don't know if anybody on there. Go For ahead, the Skinner. record, I look it up. Koo started at least nine games this year. I just wanted to throw that out there. Uh, before yeah, but he didn't. Stuff. He didn't. But not in the beginning of the season. Well, yeah, well it, it, it was early. Huh? Yeah, yeah, I had to go look that up for a second. It was early on. <laughs> season. My man got nine games in. Anyway, okay. I mean, like I said, this is going to be a, a knockdown drag him out series. That's why I wanted to say it from the beginning. People said LeBron couldn't do it out West. So, you know, last year was a down <laughs> year for the Lakers. Now we about to find out. I want to. I don't want no excuses. I want to uh, see that he man. Can't, I don't think he carry can us, do it. You know, Different. at least to the Western Conference Finals like I picked. And, you know, from there we're going to see what it is. But at the same time, it's not going to be easy. Because Dane is an absolute oh, killer. No. I don't know why it's, it's Paul George wants to step outside and, and call that man out. Leave that man alone. <laughs> he is a real deal killer. Leave him alone. Ooh. Paul George, when he stepped out his mouth the other day uh, and, and tried to come to Dane, then he had to go and apologize. Like a oh, little girl. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I ain't like yeah, he wanted to apologize to him. I ain't like he had, you, he had to apologize to Dane. Yeah, he was supposed to apologize. Hey, hey, let me say this, though, and we're going to move to the next series. Felix, you got to get on here more, man. You got my rate was going up. A lot of people on here are saying they laughing at you. They say you're crazy. They, they say, uh, Boo yeah, said, don't, don't forget, they don't forget, don't forget. Hey, they said, hey, hey, they said that last year, didn't they? But who won? Who won? Toronto yeah. won. Tell them, Felix. They always who won? say that. They always <laughs> say that. Let me go with some of the comments. I don't get no credit, but I don't, <laughs> I don't push that button. Hey, that, that's why I'm going to have you back business. on here. Hey, listen, that's why I'm going to have you back on here. So, Portland win, you can come on here and go and say, hey, I'm the only one that picked them on on the podcast, baby. Hey, that's all. That. That's all. Just keep predicting the rest that? of it. Okay, no, just all keep right. Predicting the rest of it. So, so go. look, Boo, so look, Boo got Lakers in six. Uh, uh, Todd Tober said Dane gonna average 30, 34, but don't lose in six. Uh, Greg, uh, he got Lakers in five. And all of them say Felix bugging, laughing at Felix, man. It's funny. Matt Blue, what's up, Blueski? Everybody, man. So uh, this is good stuff. Good stuff. Uh, all right, so listen, we gotta go to the next one though, because this is this is good though. This is good. So so we got four guys picked the Lakers, one one picked uh Portland, and Bryce won't know about you, even though we see him in the comments. He got he got the twins, so uh we'll get him on here on the next one. All right, let's move to the next another series. I think it'll be very, very interesting, and that's the Thunder and the Rockets. Um we do know that um or at least we should know that uh Westbrook is gonna miss uh a couple games. We don't know how many games they, they he's gonna miss. Um, but I'm going to, I'm going to give y'all my prediction first and I'll let y'all go. And then I'm going to kind of, uh, let y'all have at it a little bit. But I was telling, uh, Skinner the other day, let's see, it hit me about this. Even before the injury to Westbrook, I was going with OKC. I think me and Phil talked a little bit about how good OKC is as well. Um, clutch wise, uh, Chris Paul is, is playing great. He's the best clutch player in the NBA right now. Uh, with, with Shea Griffiths Alexander. Who, who I've, I've talked about SGA a lot, and I hope people are now starting to watch him and, and, and everything he does with uh, Dennis Schroeder uh, up for the six man. Won't win it, but great year. Uh, then you got guys like Gallinari and uh, Baisley and, 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 and the bigs, obviously, with Adam. So even with Westbrook, whether Westbrook didn't play or is, it was going to play, I've got OKC in seven. I've got OKC in, in, in seven. I will say um, if, if the Rockets get by, that small ball with them against who I think is going to be the Lakers, not Portland. I think that'd be great. But even if it's even if it's Portland, that'd be a great matchup. But I'm going with OKC and um, seven. Um, uh, let me see. Can I start it first? Uh, Garrett, Garrett, go ahead. Who you got OKC and uh, Houston? Yeah, I mean, I, I was thinking the same thing. Though I was trying to see when Westbrook was going to play when he's not, but I'm I'm on the same way. It's definitely going seven, uh, but I'm riding with CP3. I just think that small ball is going to hurt them in the end. And as far as Houston, I mean, I just – I hate the way they play. Uh, it's just hard and dribble, dribble, and everybody's standing around. They get more shots now, but, I mean, it's either – it's take your turn. Pick your poison. Either Westbrook or Harden got the ball. That's, that's why CP3 got a fire. Yeah. 
Yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be definitely interesting, um, especially as small as they play with, you know, Tucker's basically their their starting center. Uh Felix, what do you think about the Thunder and the Rockets? I gotta go Thunder. I don't know if it'll take seven. Uh the Rockets, they get out rebounded every game. They jack up a whole bunch of three pointers, playoffs, physical game, high defensive intensity. The percent three point percentage is gonna go down. Uh, like you said, they don't have no big man. Steven Adams can have field day every night. Yeah. Uh, plus the redemption for the great legendary Chris Paul. Uh, just yep. all signs point to, to the thunder for me. Yeah, great. That's a great analysis. I'm I'm definitely uh, hoping that for Chris Paul for sure, especially the way they, they did him. He said, and, and it's irony because, you know, we people used to always be worried about CP3 being – uh, healthy for the playoffs, right? And, and now you have it kind of flipped where now it's Westbrook. You know, they, they traded him for Westbrook, thinking Westbrook more durable, and then you got this problem with, with Westbrook. So I hope Westbrook can get back, though, because I want to see those two, you know, lock. Too, I really do. I want to see those two that's get back at it because that's just going to be – Yeah, that, yeah. It's, oh, man, that's going to be great basketball. And they're, and they're good friends, too, that and people might not know, but that's going to be great. Uh, Sam, Sam, Thunder and Rockets. Uh, Thunder Thunder and six. I can see it going seven if Russ, if Russ come back. <laughs> But I got the Thunder and six. Uh, I think the rebound is going to be key. Uh, we've seen where the Rockets have clearly have, have gone stints where they, they can go cold. And when they go cold, uh, Russell Russell Westbrook's eight rebounds a night not being there. See, like Felix said, Steve Nash will have a field day down low. You know, before I get to Skinner, I ain't going to lie. I have to want to jump off the bandwagon now. I'm surprised all y'all picking the Thunder. I thought I was gonna be by myself with this. <laughs> I thought I was gonna be by myself. I, I thought you were special. Everybody you picking the... yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't think everybody looked at it like me, but okay. Go, go ahead, Scudder. <laughs> I got okay seeing six. Uh, and honestly, it depends on how quick Westbrook get back. If he don't get back until game four or so like that, it might be over in five. And, mm-hmm. and mainly because they need all their pieces for that system to work. That mm-hmm. system will not work without their entire gambit like i mean I, I get what they're trying to do it's something we've never really seen before even with golden state we've never seen like we've seen golden state go in stretches of small ball where they were like in the game like that but they always had some level of big out there to you know start the game their whole entire strategy is five wide spread the court get as many threes up as possible don't worry about rebound the ball when we get it we go and they score boom we get them back out get the quick shot up and keep it going we've never seen this so to take out the second key cog of their system mm-hmm. and have to like, and you got old Eric Gordon out there barely making up and down the court. He just coming off injury or stuff. He's essentially trying to take Westbrook's spot. That ain't going to work. So for me, if Westbrook is out more than two or three games, this might be over in five. Uh, OKC plays, you know, tremendous team, team basketball. Chris Paul is really out there orchestrating SGA. Like Lance was saying, he's an amazing young player, you know, big Steven Adams down low. There's too many things that are team focused on OKC to where they're, you know what I'm saying, that there's more of an NBA style. And then to take the second cog off of off of uh, Houston, that system ain't going to work against OKC. OKC in six, and if Westbrook don't make it back fast enough, OKC in five. All right, so, so everybody everybody with the thunder. Man, I, I tell you, before we get off, I might switch back to Houston, switch to Houston. But it was tough for me. It, it, was, it was tough. It was tough because – and I get what everybody's saying with the small ball, but I do think – if the Rockets are, are to win a series, you know, I think it can be this series, even though they play so small. I was telling Skinner, Jeff Green's been playing great since he left Utah. And, you know, this system fits him better. Uh, uh, ben McLemore has man, been a revelation. I mean, he's hitting, shooting the three ball he's real good. That thing, bro. Um, stroking that thing, man. I mean, he's, he's shooting the ball real good, man. He's he back in um, and then, Yeah, he do. Yeah, I mean, I, I was like, man, like, like he, he, should, I mean, he put the work in, man. So, you know, those additions with Covington and all of them, you know, Covington's our best defender. But if, you know, Billy Donovan is a great coach. Chris, Chris Paul is a coach on there. And they're going to know, especially with Chris Paul being there last year, they're going to know to me how to attack how to attack them. And as, as Felix said, man, they're going to pound it down low. They got to because they can't get up, go up and down and, and, and shoot with them, you know, but even though they got good shooters themselves. I'm sleeping on P.J. Tucker's so. defense, though. P.J. Tucker be locking them big dudes up. Man, he's oh, P.J. Tucker's one of the best defenders. I agree. Yo, he can get uh, well, did you see him against him beat against him beat the other night? He played yeah. good. So no, I ain't sleeping on him. Yeah, and that, but that's why I said though, you know, it's, it's going to be close. Be if you can win, right, right. If you can win, it's not going to surprise me. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, right. He locks up. He locks up. That's why I said like that's why I sound surprised everybody picked the Thunder because 
you know, I thought it'd be more slick because uh, Houston, this is a tough one for me to pick. It's probably my toughest Where's, Western Conference one to pick. Let me tell you why, though. One, one more thing on that, and I'll let it go. Let me tell you why. Because when, when them threes ain't working, Westbrook got that ability to get to that basket. And he'll take that other guard mm-hmm. down low and just get busy. Without Westbrook, up, yeah. that, that heart and that just, all right, threes ain't working. Give me the rock. Get out of my way. I'm going to go to the post real quick. Get us mm-hmm. a couple easy baskets. <clears throat> they don't have that because Harden not doing that. Harden to get to the basket. Yeah. But you know what I'm saying? He's not He's not going to just bully ball you to the basket. He's going to be out there throwing, throwing yeah. his body halfway around the country trying to draw the foul. Crying. Yeah. Like, like Westbrook. Yeah. <laughs> like, right, Let me do my thing real quick. That hurts yeah. him. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's true. Go ahead, Felix. You had something before we move? No, I just said, where is Clint Capella when you need it? That was the dumbest, dumbest trade of the year. Yeah. Yeah, they try to play a certain, a certain way, but we'll we'll, we'll see. Because, cause I, you know, it's like this too, though. You know, and uh, Skinner made a great point about Westbrook being able to attack and, and then post up. Don't be surprised you see Chris Paul post up a lot more, too, on Austin Rivers because he can't guard him in the post. Chris Paul's a great uh, uh, point guard uh, playing yeah. out the post as well. I don't know if people – Realize that, but this is the thing though. If Houston do win, <laughs> this is the thing. If Houston do win, I guarantee it's gonna be okay. cold people. One of, one of them's on here that's gonna pick them to beat the Lakers in the second round. So that's what's funny. That's what's funny about it. If the Lakers get out the first round, see this, but I, I guarantee you, you'll, you'll go Houston then. But anyway, we'll move right along. Uh, our next one is the Heat and the Pacers, man. You know, this is you know, obviously, we you know, y'all, y'all know where I'm at, so y'all probably ain't gotta hear from me on this one, but uh, we're gonna go right to Sam on this one. Heat, Heat Pacers, Sam, they're kicking off. Tuesday, four o'clock. Uh, who you got in this series and why? I got Miami and five. I think. Uh, mm. Yeah, I got Miami Dang and it. five. Mm. I ain't, I ain't got them in five. <laughs> I like yeah, that. I, got, I don't think they're gonna play. Around. I think Jimmy. I, I think Jimmy Butler's on the tear, man. I think right now I'm looking at as far as the shooters that they got. The Duncan Robinson, uh, hero shooting. Uh, I think Iguodala's That's gonna great. come up clutch. In five, they're not gonna play no games. With them. They know the next round is gonna be a bigger task for them. They don't. You don't have all the normal rest you have when the play with the traveling game. And it ended early. Rest up. Yeah, you gonna have more rest, and you ain't got to travel. You gonna have even more rest. You can walk walk to the hotel or take the bus or whatever whatever they do. So the same guy, heat and five, <laughs> heat and five. All right, Skinner. What you got big bro. Uh, I ain't got much on this one. I got. Uh, let me see. Yeah, I put heat heat and five. I mean, I don't oh, see that being much. Okay. Yeah, is Victor O even playing? Like, if he's, I mean, what are we yeah, doing? He, yeah, he, he's playing, but yeah, he's playing. He's not even out there. Yeah. Though. He's like, not, yeah. I, I don't even want <laughs> Heat and five. <laughs> <laughs> That's going right. to be easy work. So both of y'all got a four, four one. All right. Uh, uh, um, Felix. Felix, you with us? Gary, yeah, go ahead. That corn liquor. He fr- he froze. <laughs> he froze <laughs> yeah. All right, so I got. Yeah, he froze uh, up. I'm gonna go uh, heat. I'm gonna say heat and six though. I'm gonna give you know my that's my pops, uh, old college roommate Nate Millen. I'm gonna Nate give Nate Millen. Yeah. Give him two wins. Uh, T.J. Warren. He I got got him willing at least one win. He played so good in the bubble. He got he got to give him at least one thirty game in the playoffs to get back mm-hmm. and get Jimmy maybe. But I definitely got the heat going on. I mean. I think I'm definitely glad that uh, what's the boy name? Um, Jones. He, he, he yeah, good. glad he good. Yeah, that was so, scary. Yeah, he's he been playing good too. So, you know, yeah. I, mean, I definitely yeah. he, 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 definitely Miami. Cool, Felix, you good now? I think Felix losing connection, but this this to speak on um <clears throat> this to speak on the Heat. I've got Heat four two, and I, I'm just giving my uh the pace of those two games because. If you look back at our history, man, Heat Pacers always are always tough games. You know what I'm saying? Like it's always tough against them. So it's gonna be a dog fight. Even without some bonus, I feel like they gonna it's gonna be a dog fight. Um, T.J. Warren getting getting thirty. Jimmy's gonna try very hard and to, to make sure that don't happen. Um, yeah. Over Depot, will he have his flashes? But um, I think you know, as, as Sam was even saying, I mean, with our shooters, you know, we shoot the ball very good uh, with Hero and Duncan Robinson and. Uh, uh, Kendrick Nunn, and, and we still got Dry coming off the bench, and and like you said, the, the dishes of Crowder and um, and uh, Iguodala, man. So, Felix, you with us? All right, Felix is gone. He'll he'll be back if if he is. If not, we, we I know we got that good thing out of him anyway with that Portland LA. That's why I wanted to do that first. But uh, if he comes back on, we'll 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 move like that. All right, this next one probably be quick too. Um, 
Bucks of Magic. <laughs> Bucks of Magic. Is it safe to say, I mean, we ain't got to waste a lot of time with this first round. This is sweet. Anybody, is it sweet? Get the, everybody get the raise your hands. Everybody got sweet. I, I had him in five, just just cut, but sweep is fine. I mean, that's. Yeah. <laughs> well, you think Magic going to win one? Well, tell, me, tell me, the one you think they can win one, though. Why can't they win one, though? Tell me, though. They might can. I agree with you. Though. I mean, you know, you know how them series work, man. It's 3 0. You know, everybody take their foot off okay. the gas for a second. I got you. I got they you. They sneak one in there. Not, nothing of, of serious significance. <laughs> I got you. I got you. Okay. What about you, G? Oh, yeah. I got a sweep. Buck sweep. Yeah. I think Giannis, Buck. I think Giannis is going to make a statement, you know, coming off his little suspension, his little hit button shit. <laughs> So, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's definitely possible. Sweep is possible. <laughs> hey, um, it's going back to that Rocket series. Uh, Bryce did pick Houston, so if he was on here, he would have been a one Rockets. He got Houston in six. And uh, my boy Denzel, Denzel, I'm gonna hit you. I'm gonna hit you, uh, personally, because you always talking crazy too. I love you, boy, but you talking crazy. The Rockets will sweep the Thunder, <laughs> and Portland's gonna beat the Lakers. But I, I talk to you later about that. I, I, ain't, I ain't even giving that no energy on here. <laughs> I'll talk to you later. So everybody got, hard uh, fan, ain't uh, Yeah, yeah. No, he's a – well, yeah, actually, I think he might be – you might be right. I think, too, because he used to be a Wade fan before Wade was talking about. I think you're right. I think that is why he's going there. Yeah, so. Uh, Phoenix, you good now? All right. If not, uh, Clippers-Mavs, man, a very interesting matchup. Um, they took off tomorrow night at dawn. You got the best uh, defensive – one of the best defensive teams with the, the lockdown wings of Leonard and – and uh and 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 George and then obviously uh Pat Bev the uh, Mr. Ninety Four Feet uh going against uh the best offense in NBA history. I don't know if people you know if people know that, but they're you know by the numbers that are best offense in NBA history with what they score and and their pace and everything. Um, what what you think, Sam? Uh, we'll start with you, uh, Mavs and uh, Clippers. Uh, what's that series and how's it going to look? Clippers in six. And. and- I just too many bodies to throw at Luca, man. And when they do that pick and roll, with, with, when Trez finally get back and get in the swing of things, they can even go small with, with the with the Morris boy. And then on this on that switch on that mm-hmm. pick and roll, Porzingis oh, he really want to pop out. He don't want to really go down low. He wants to pop out and shoot that jumper. Mm-hmm. So I'm going Clippers and six, man. They they'll get two. Clippers and six. Clippers and six. Gary, Mavs and Clippers. Who you got? I got the Clippers winning this in six as well. Um. I just don't. I don't think the Mavs have anybody really why. Um, he's gonna get the shots that he wants. Uh, and then as far as Luca, you know, I mean that he's pretty much what makes the Mavs go. You know what I mean? And like, like just like what Sam said, the Clippers got too many bodies. They can switch it up. They can, you know, they're probably gonna start off with, with Paul George on them. You know what I mean? And then you got, you know, you got Beverly, you got Kawhi, you got a couple. You got, the, I mean, the Morris boy. He, he's a little versatile, so he can do, you know, anywhere from the wing to, you know, down to – because Luca's yeah, about 160. Yeah. So, I mean, they got some bodies mm-hmm. to switch it up. For him, so, and then the same thing. I mean, I love Porzingis' game, but he doesn't really want bang. So, he's, I got the Mavs getting two games. That's it. Okay, Mavs get, getting two. Now, let me – before I get – I see Bryce popped on. What's good? Because uh, before I get to uh, Bryce and, and Skinner, um, I know y'all said 4-2 before I get their prediction, but when y'all say 4-2 – are, do y'all think it'd be a two-two series at some point, or y'all think it'd be two games where it's three-one and they get game five? Or you think it's gonna be like that? Because it's a difference. That, that's why I said, you know, you know, is, is it gonna be is it gonna be tied up at any point? You think? No, I don't, I don't think I don't think it's gonna be tied up. I will say they might, they might. I'm actually, they might split the first two games. They might, you know, because being, you know, it's the bubble. You know, everybody's coming mm-hmm. off playing good right now, so I say they might be you okay. know, one okay. one but after that. You know, Clippers are going. You know, they're going to run it. And Doc Rivers, Doc, Doc is. You know, that the Clippers bench is big. You know, Doc, Sam, yourself, they, they all play a role. Right, right. There he is, super producer. Ron Bryce is in the <laughs> building. <laughs> yo, <laughs> yo, yo, y'all can hear me. <laughs> yeah, we can hear you good, man. We can hear you y'all good. Can, I know, I know you're doing uh, triple duty. Y'all can't hear the babies crying. Oh, we good. We we we, we phase that out. It ain't loud. You good, bro? You good, man? You good? We good then. Yeah, jump jump then. jump right on. I, I'm gonna go back to a couple of series in a minute, but but while we're on this uh, Clippers Mavs, man, give me give me a Clippers Mavs prediction. Clippers and Mavs. Ha! Yeah. yeah, you know my boy Luca on there, yo. Um, yeah, I know. That's what I, was, I, I, <laughs> I know. You, you I, got, I got I got I got the Clippers and six, man. 
I got the Clippers in six, man. I, I just think the, the Clippers is too much for the Mavs right now. That's a that's a that's a horrible okay. matchup for the Mavs in the first round. But I got I got Clippers in six, so. You think it'll be a a two two series at any point, or you think it'll be pretty much Clippers all the way, and they'll just get two games think, like that? I think it'll be Clippers all the way. I think it'll be Clippers all okay. the way. And, and I will say before I get to a Skinner, I do apologize to you, Bryce, because you you did say on the last shot. I didn't forget that you had Luca for MIP, Most Improved, and I say he shouldn't be up for Most Improved, but they made him up for Most Improved. So I will say I was wrong, sir. You were right. I hope he don't win it, but I, I, I think I he should have because he's. I, he's yeah. having an MVP season though, so it's kind of yeah. Hard to I understand why they it. did it. Yeah, yeah. In that mix, to me, that's how mine was. Anyway, yeah. he did. He did. When you put it like that, because no, no, no other twenty-one year old has done this, you know. No. So I do agree with that after looking at the numbers. Go ahead, Skinner. Um, give me your Mavs and uh, Clippers prediction. I think this is honestly. I mean, it it, it goes six, but I think the Clippers are just way too physical, way too physical for for Mavericks and how they play. Montrez Harold back. I don't know anybody on that Mavericks team that even want to get in his way when he come off that bench. You got him <laughs> and Lou Will coming off the bench, giving points, you know, Montrez coming off, giving defense, rebounds, <clears throat> just screaming at people, hollering. You got all these Intimidation. Wings. Yeah, I mean, you got all the wings on on, on the Clippers. I, I mean, I, I say six, and I, Luka, he's, at the end of the series, his numbers are going to be good. His averages are going to be his, – his, like, percentages in terms of shooting percentages. They're not going to be that good. He's going to have to take 25 to 30 shots a game to get 25 to 30 points. So he may have the overall stats, but it won't be pretty. I think his turnover is going to be high. I think you're going to see a lot of crying to the refs. I think they're going to, and I think they're going to make it a point that this young cat's coming in the league doing all this stuff. I think they're really going to go after him, like like back in the day, like uh, uh, who was they it? Scotty and Scotty and MJ did with old Tony yeah. Coach. Now, yeah, I, yeah, I, yeah. now I'm not yeah. saying Tony Kukoc is 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 Luca. Right. Now I know what you mean. But you see now what I'm saying? You I think they're gonna yeah, make it a height. point. Yeah, yeah they're mm-hmm. gonna make it a point to really prove, listen, you you nice, but we do this. And then you gotta you gotta yeah. wait your turn. So yeah, I think I think the Clippers gonna give them all they want. Cool. Previous, I know you back now, man. Glad you worked out the kinks, man. Give me your uh I, mean, I know you got the Clippers, but I mean how many games are it gonna take for them to win? I wanna say four. I want to say clean sweep, sweep, get them out of here. But I say five, five, five. <laughs> I give them one game. <laughs> Luca got one. Luca got one. Okay. All right. Cool. Cool. So I'm gonna I'm gonna go. I got the Clippers as well. Um, and 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 just, <laughs> I got Clippers a six right down. But just to just to just say it, I'm gonna actually say Clippers a seven. I, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna let them. I'm gonna, I think the man is a little better than uh, people give it credit for. And I think I think like you said, Luca. Is Luca? You know he gonna get his. I, I get what y'all saying about KP, but they have him playing like that, and this new NBA has him playing like that. But he can still knock down a three. He will get in there and, and bang and dunk on you, but he don't want nothing with Montrez or nobody like that. Marcus Morris, don't get me wrong. They're gonna need Seth Curry and Tim Hardaway and, and Trey Burke between those three guys. Two of those guys has to play good for it to get to that. If not, I would agree with a a, a five game series. Or a six game series in, in that. So but everybody got the Clippers. I think I think I don't think nobody's picking the Mavs in this. I, I I've seen no one pick the Mavs, you know, so I don't think that's gonna happen. Um I do want to get back real quick because since Bryce is on here, he's the only one that picked the Rockets in six. Bryce, tell, tell me why you got the Rockets. Everybody on here got the Thunder. I was kinda surprised that it was such a uh a Thunder heavy uh favorite. But uh you tell me why you picked Houston. The reason the reason I picked Houston, I, I forgot Russell was hurt. I forgot Russell was hurt, but now that I heard, I heard everybody points about, you know, uh, you know, the Thunder playing team ball and, you know, the Houston just, you know, settling for the three. And if Russell is out, like he's the only one who can really take the ball to the cup if his shot is not working. Harden, can, Skinner said Harden can, but he's not going to, you know what I'm saying? He's not going to be physical with you. But I, I forgot all about Russell was hurt. So that's why I said Houston in six. But now I put, oh, okay. uh, so now I got, I got, the Thunder and six, actually. You got the Thunder and six. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Say, Even, you know, that's, a, I tell you, that's an interesting series, man. I, say, I know. It's it's hard because, like you said, if Russell do come back, if he come back too late, it could be, you know, it could yeah. be too late. If he comes back too early, yeah. he could get hurt. And then you miss him for the rest of the playoffs. So it was kind of yeah. – it's kind of hard. It was yeah. kind of hard to – and, and, and even with Russ there, though, the Thunder in the regular season, 
you know, those matchups, man, they got the best out of them more times oh, yeah. than not, too. You know, I, I don't go off the regular season with, with you like know, I every, said, I think plus, everything, I, but. And plus, you know, playoff go. bring out different monsters. Playoff bring out different monsters and players, yo. Right. So, yeah. Know, regular season, yeah, regular season, regular season is regular season, but people who you got players in the league who can actually turn that switch on when it comes to playoffs. They can they can raise the you know the game up to a higher level. You know, and yeah. plus yeah, playing in the true. bubble, it's a that's neutral true. site. It's a neutral site. It's no pressure. It's no home court advantage. It's anything can anything can happen. This playoff show, anything can happen with this playoffs because everything is at a neutral site. You know, yeah. you don't got that pressure like you normally do on the road. You know, that so underdog any, got a higher has... value in this bubble. You right. know what, and Taylor, that's a that's a great point. You and Bryce both made. Hey, that's a that's a great point both of y'all made. And and Felix, I will say this, and you'll probably like like that I'm saying this. I might have said this before. You know, I don't want to hear the excuses though. You know what I mean? Because LeBron was one of them that no one was even talking about the bubble and this, and he already talking about. Uh, with, I, I never had a number one seed in the bubble. They said they don't want to hear that, LeBron. You, you know you can't. You know you, you set yourself up for trouble because if you do lose and you and you make that comment, you know you just don't say nothing. You know, so like y'all say, I don't want to hear the excuse. It, but like you said, uh, Felix, it's different. You know, palms don't get as sweaty and, and butts get tight so much when you ain't in another arena. You know, like you said, so those role players and those uh, those other guys that might not show up before. And the bubble band with nobody there, like you running, you know, AU or at the Y, they got a little more confidence. So, you know, I, I do agree. I do agree with that. I do agree with that. All right, y'all. Uh, we almost done with the first one. We got a couple more. These, I know these ain't gonna take long. Uh, Celtics, Celtics and Sixers. Celtics and Sixers. Uh, uh, Gary, let's we'll start with you. Celtics and Sixers. Who, you, who you got? I mean, game. Hmm. I got Boston and five. Boston and five. Boston and five. Yeah, I think Tatum, Tatum and, and Brown, they're just, you know, both of them together, they're gonna they're gonna get it done. And I mean, I just wasn't impressed too much by Philly during the bubble. And B didn't look, you know, yeah. Look bad. Uh, yeah, especially without Simmons. Yeah. Simmons. Yeah, the loss of Simmons, that 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 really hurt them. So I mean, I know they, you know, they got other players, Al Horford, you know, they still got Tobias, mm-hmm. but I Josh, see Josh Tobias. Richardson. The bias is gonna to have to be the guy to step up for them, you know, for Philly to do anything. Much as much money as he getting paid, he needs to step up. Boy, he getting that's that for bag, sure. Ain't he? That's for sure. Yeah, he he getting man, bag. my goodness, he getting the bag, boy, for real. He needs yeah. to step up as a number two option. All that money he getting. Yeah. Um, uh, Skinner, who you got? Uh, Sixes and uh, Celtics. How many games? Looking, looking back at my notes, I got uh, I got Celtics in six. I mean, uh, I guess that's. I'll stick with that. I'll stick with them in six. I could see it going five though. I mean, B gonna get his numbers. He'll end up, you know, 27, 12, you know, two, three block. He gonna get his regardless because Boston kind of played that small ball game too. The, mm-hmm. I mean, the, he plays the center, but he's not really a center. Um, he he can't do anything at all with MB. But after you get past MB, like we just said, your boy, he getting his he gets number one, number two money. But I don't know what that happens to Tobias Harris. I mean, he look he out there looking like a yeah. straight up role player. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I know like, he, he, like, he, he even took, he even took the headband off thinking that's gonna help. <laughs> it ain't nah, helping help me, bro. You average on what? So I ain't gonna put too much time in it. I was so, now if Simmons was there, I really had some analysis there, but it ain't, ain't yeah. too much gonna happen with that. Celtics got it. Yeah. Uh is, no, well, let me ask y'all this uh for the sake of the time. Does anybody have the sixes? If you, if you do, anybody got the sixes? Nobody okay, I got, I got the, the Celtics. I got the series seven games either way. It's hard for me to pick. Okay. Oh, wow. Okay. Well, well, I'm glad. You, I'm, I'm glad you said that because 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 I might be going a, a little bit to where you're going. Can you tell me why you think it's it's a little more closer than people think? Talk to me about that, Philip. The, the it's going to be physical games and it's going to be low scoring games. Both teams don't really score too many points, and both teams are known for being physical and gritty. So I'm feeling seven games either way. That's my reasoning. But if you exactly. had to choose, who do you think gonna win it? Though you, you gonna go with Boston because of without them without not having seven? Uh, I don't know, man. I like I like Horford and and Embiid. I like that duo right there. I don't think well, go ahead and pick the Sixers. Like, go ahead and pick the Sixers. Then just play that small ball. Go ahead and pick I, them. Then I need a prediction. Go ahead and pick the Sixers. Then you got Sixers and seven. I pick I pick the Sixers. I like I like I like the coach. I like Brett Brown. I like the coach. I like I like uh. 
their physical, their physicality. Yeah, I go Sixers. Okay. The guards, I, man. I think, the guards ain't right. And and this is the thing for me, like, and I'll I'll, I'll let Sam uh, and, and Bryce comment if they want to elaborate on the series, but. I've got Celtics as well in six, but I do think, though, the games are going to be close, and I think the matchup is a little better for Philly because they they always play good against Boston, one. I agree with Felix as far as they can pound it down. with, with and, and Horford now in that starting role as a stretch four, you know, he, he can play that role against his old team. Um, you know, without Simmons, it's going to be tough, but I do think it's a little closer, but I still got Boston four two. What about you, Sam? Got Boston four uh, two. I know you like Horford coming into the game at, at that starting four, but he's not guarding the same player as Simmons can guard, man. So I'm going four two Boston. Four two Boston. Yeah, I would agree with that he's a great, great defensive player. But right, he can't. He definitely can't guard with Simmons can guard. Uh, they were trying Simmons at the four. Uh, Bryce, who you got? Six and Celtics. I got, I got Celtics in six, man. With, with Simmons that going, it that, that really kind of. That really kind of puts a damper in that. Stir, stir my decision. Yo, come here. Cool. Hold on, hold on, real quick. Um, all right. What the what the Nets and the Raptors? Anybody got the Nets? I don't think nobody do, right? Everybody got the Raptors yeah. for that first round. We probably see that one. Sweet. Is KD, yeah, is, yeah. Is KD got, and Kyrie got, coming back? <laughs> if not, then no. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not picking the Nets, hey, I got, man. I, I got, I got the Nets getting the game though. I got a four-one. I got four, four-one to run. I got, I think they, I think they get a game. Though. They play tough, but uh, yeah, that'll be, that'll be easy. Yeah, I got a five. I think they'll get, I think they'll get one. I think they'll get one. Um, now before we get to the last first round one, and then uh, I know Phil has got a game. I got to drop off, but Nuggets and Jazz. I don't know if anybody heard, but Mike Conley did lead the bubble, uh, expecting the birth of a child. So. They say he'll be back sometime in the playoffs. Now, he got a quarantine four days when he returned. They played the more the first game. So he's all, he's definitely going to miss two. You know, so I already had – I had oh, Denver in seven. They done. They, to me, they're done. To me, it might be Denver in five. I'm going to be honest. And I know I know Denver doesn't have Will Barton. Uh, I think he'll be back, though, about the playoffs. Will Barton and, and – um, what you call their day-to-day uh, – what's my boy from – what's my boy Gary Harris, their, their day-to-day. Harris. But, man, Denver, Denver's deep, man. Denver, Denver's deep. And that's before you even get to people like 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 Bo. I ain't even talking about Bobo. You know what I mean? He, he's young. I'm talking about their their main guys. Michael Porter Jr., I, I tell you, man, <laughs> this guy, man, I, I know we talked about it before. And when Jerry West passed on him twice, I said, okay, well, maybe something going on with his back even worse than we thought because not even Jerry West got him. But, man, that Denver GM did it right because that boy, man, he's going to be a monster. He's already playing real good. Uh, Felix, yeah, what, what, that what about that series, Nuggets and Jazz? I mean, I ain't know that. Uh, I ain't know what all was going on with Mike Conley. Mike Conley. I would gave him a yeah, with Mike Conley. Me too. But without him, they in trouble. Yeah, they in trouble, Big man. Trouble. They in trouble. Yeah, they in trouble as a point guard spot without Mike Conley, and they, and they already don't have Bogdanovich. You know, that's a twenty point score. They're already missing him. You know, so it's it's gonna be tough. Uh, Skinner, what what you think about Nuggets and Jazz? Yeah, when I saw that Mike Conley piece news. I was like, oh man. That's that's it right yeah. there because I mean Don, Donovan Mitchell is a he's a scorer but he's a volume scorer like he's not a guy that if he get twenty five points he probably can get twenty shots off that and that's not going to yeah. be enough going against this Nuggets team and I know Go Go Bear is a phenomenal defender but guess what <laughs> he got they gonna bring him, <laughs> he yeah. they, they gonna bring him away from that rim he ain't gonna be able to stay under mm-hmm. there and camp out and block all them shots like that because you can't leave the joker open so you <laughs> trying to take that away from him. And you know, I mean, without Conley, he's a lockdown defender as well. That's that's the Jazz calling card. You messing with their calling card right now. So, give me uh, yeah. give me Nuggets in five. I got Nuggets in five. Okay, too. cool. So everybody, you got Nuggets in five too, Bryce. Uh, yeah. Sam, Gary, who y'all got? Nuggets in five. Yeah, I already said it was six, but when I see that Mike Conley, yeah. I give him one. Yeah. I'll put this out yeah. there though. The Nuggets got the worst. The worst three point defense in the bubble, but the uh, Jazz yeah. not really a great three point shooter. Yeah, the Jazz don't shoot that rock like that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, so like you said, that second round, and, and, and that's a great segue. We'll, we'll go segue with that because second round, you end up seeing Denver and the Clippers, and we can talk about that a little bit. Um, but one thing I will say about that series, real quick, is you know we talked about home court advantage. Utah's a tough place to play at. Denver with the altitude is a very tough place to play at. Yeah. You're not gonna have that in this series. 
You know, so for both teams, that's why I think, like you said, it's pretty much going to be Denver and five because they're not going nowhere. Like, they're standing the whole time. They're just playing ball. Like, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, and Yoki, like like Skinner said, he's going to bring Gobert out from the lane, and, and he's going to open everything up for the other guys, man. And, and Jeremiah Grant's been playing great and uh, uh, all those other, all those other guys they got, man. I mean, they, they're, 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 they're a deep team, man. Yeah, yeah, they're, they're a deep team. No, it's that. So, so cool, cool. Uh, so let me see. So let's move on to uh, Clippers. So we said pretty much we got the Nuggets winning. So let's let's say we're gonna get that Nuggets and, and Clippers matchup. Uh, man, who who got the TV on? Bryce. Bryce, <laughs> no. this camera. My bad. <laughs> Hold on. Hold on. My bad. My so, bad. So My so bad. you you all good, bro? So Nuggets and Clippers. How's that series gonna look if we get that matchup in the second round? Because as Skinner said. Nuggets don't defend the three good. Clippers is a great three-point shooting team. Uh, again, as I said, you know, talent-wise, they are the best team, you know, I think, in the league. So, you know, Skinner, I, I mean, you're, you're the Clipper, biggest Clipper fan. Uh, what's it going to look fair. like in the second round? That's yeah, Felix, what's the, what's, the big, hey, what's the biggest one? Ooh, Felix, I meant, I, I, yeah, Felix, my bad. I, I think I did say Skinner. Oh, well. You know it is what it is, man. The Clippers, they just they just too much for everybody. To be honest, <laughs> you got the best player in the league. You got the top top three best two way. You got two of the top two way players in the league. You got Montrez Harrell, Lou Williams giving you forty points a game off the bench. It's just too much to deal with. You got one of the greatest coaches of all time, Doc Rivers. It's just, it's just too much for any team right now to deal with. No matter who you talk about up against the Clippers, it's go, it's a handful for anybody. Oh, we gonna get to the conference. We gonna get to the conference. We'll talk about anybody, but I was talking about the Nuggets. We'll get. What time? What time you got to leave? 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 I'm from your fan. What time you got to leave? I can make sure. <laughs> all right, well, let's get to it right. Let's get to it right now, then. All right, let's, let's get to it right now. You got, you got the Clippers winning it all, right? Everything. Uh, all right. So, how many? How many are they gonna beat the the? Well, you got the Lakers losing Portland, but if they face the Lakers in the conference finals. How many are they gonna beat the Lakers in? How much? How many? Tell me who they're gonna play in the finals and what they're gonna beat them by. Since you can really leave. You got. I hear this. If the Lakers and Clippers make it a conference finals, you got Clippers in six. Okay, and, and since, hold up, and one second. And since you got Portland winning, who's gonna get to the conference finals? With your prediction, is it Portland or is it your second rank? Is it OKC or or somebody like that? Who's getting there? Uh yeah, OKC probably. Okay, so you got OKC and the Clippers, but the Lakers like get see, there. I would say the Nuggets, Nuggets, but the Nuggets gonna have to play us, so that's not gonna happen. Right, right. Okay, and 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 and, and who you got the Clippers playing in the finals? Raptors. The Raptors, and how many you got the Clippers winning there? Six. Okay, so you got the, so you got Kawhi. Uh, uh, I tell you, hey, they love you. They let the producers love you because. You know the NBA want that Kawhi against his old team. He leaves. He he brings the Clippers there, trying to win his third Story ring, book, three team. Oh, oh, it's you love it. It's storybook. It's storybook. But it's not going to happen. Not this year. <laughs> it's not going to happen. Right. And I'm going to tell you. Why. I'm going to tell you why. And now, now we jumped the gun a little bit, but that's fine. So we're going to go ahead and get into it. The Clippers, on paper and talent wise, they're the best team. I'm not. They're the best team. And and and, and for a while, I was hard headed with it. They're the best team. You know, I agree with that. But yeah, he was hard chemistry headed. means hold on, hold on. I was hard headed, but this is it. Chemistry means a lot. And let me give let me give you a couple examples here. This is what it's gonna come down to. Montrez Harrell, love him, my guy, Louisville. He ain't played in the bubble. He ain't played. You know, uh grandma passed away, my condolences. He's gotta get up to speed, he's gotta get his rhythm. That energy that he used to. His, his motor high. Uh, okay, okay. All right, hold on. Hold on. I, I'm going to get back to you. I'm going to let you get your time because you're going to leave. I'm going to let everybody else get in. But also, when you're playing on the team, I need to know that Gary likes it in the short corner, that Bryce likes it on the wing, that those Clippers guys, they have, they've only played 11 games when they've had their full team there. That's what Reggie Jackson, that's what all those guys there. What I think is when they get to the conference finals, that's where the Lakers can have the advantage over is the chemistry and them playing together. Because like you said, talent wise on paper, can't do can't do nothing with them. But I think that LeBron and A D can do enough and and they get a guy, whether it's Coos this game, Waiters this game, uh 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 whoever whoever this this game, you know, they get enough guys each game and with 
that He's, defense that the Lakers play, and I know the Clippers defense is good too, great too, but I think they can they can do it. And what do you say to me when I say that? I'm crazy, right? You start naming them funny guys again, and when you start, <laughs> start talking about that, when you start talking about that, hey. you talk about waiters and smith and kuzma <laughs> but listen to me man the clippers are too deep for you to start naming these funny guys man they too hey, deep in the playoffs you in the playoffs you run an eight nine man rotation so the depth don't mean nothing in the playoffs that means nothing it means a, it means, that means a lot nothing. it means it means the depth hey. means nothing in the playoffs Rondo's guys back. He's gonna have a second unit looking good by that time. Rondo by the second you look good by the conference final. Have These look guys you name it on the Lakers are not dependable. Okay, okay. So, got, so let me you ask got. you this. Let, let me let me make this point. I know you gotta leave. Everybody, hold on. I, I, I'm gonna get to y'all because I, I want to get this for before you leave. Lou Will, for example, I was telling my wife this last night. Lou Will, I'm scared of Lou Will. I'm probably scared of Lou Will more than uh, Did you I'm probably see how more scared of Lou Will than I am Paul back. George. Yeah, I am. I'm more scared of Lou Will than I am Paul George. I am. And that's just me from an offense standpoint. So nobody, you know, talk crazy. I'm talking about from an offense standpoint. But what you got to do, and this is what the Lakers will do, they just going to put him in, in the pick and roll, bro. They just going to make him defend. And then, and then some of these guys are going to get in foul trouble. Marcus Morris in New York, he was averaging 20 points a game. Marcus Morris was shooting too much. He shoot more than Kawhi Leonard some games. I, I watch the tape. I watch the games. Marcus Morris, he's talking about chemistry. He's going to mess something up. Bryce not right. He gonna he gonna mess something up because and he it. wants to still be the man. He wants to still be the man. Marcus he's Moore, he's the man on that he's team. Learn. They gonna, gonna they gonna bust some heads. Watch what I say. People gonna bust some heads. Pat Lou- Bad, Pat Pat Bad, same way. You talk about putting Lou Williams in a pick and roll, but That's who's right. gonna be? He got go Who's gonna be calling a pick and roll on the Lakers? Is what I'm trying to figure out. Who's gonna be calling it? Mm-hmm. The gonna be calling. What you mean? Who's gonna call it? If they go, if they switch the pick and roll, and Lou Will's got to guard uh, 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 LeBron in the pick and roll, what's he gonna do? You got to attack him. That's the only way they can get Lou Will out of this game is attack him defensively. That's what good coaches do. And and Frank Vogel, he's got to see in the conference finals before. And he's got Jason Kidd behind him. And I know Lana Holland's hitting him up on the message like, "Hey, I seen, I looked at the tape." That's all I'm saying. But that? on paper, the Clippers are better. <laughs> 2012, 2013, 2014, 2012, second round. You know what I'm saying? Rick, All right, man. man. All right. So you got – we heard your prediction. Clippers are six. I'm going to get to the fellas. I know you got to go. Uh, who, who y'all got today? You want to you wanna put a plug in for the uh, for the league you're going to go to? And go put a plug in real quick for the league. What, I just tell, tell people about this. the league. Oh, yeah. Two-time champions, man. We just lost our first oh, game this Lord. season because of injuries. Because of injuries. Who y'all lose and I to? Had, uh, huh? Who y'all lose to? We lost to uh, DeMonte Dodd. Big, he, uh, I wasn't oh, there. I know, okay. I know how to guard him. I wasn't there that game. I had uh, okay, family. you heard him, die. He said not to guard you. Out of Maryland. He said not to guard you. Queen Ass County. Yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah, but, okay. yeah. We, uh, by the See, time uh-huh. we all start, we back. Uh, everybody come out 730 tonight. We got uh, Trey Morris out of Salisbury. We, they say they only lost one game. They supposed to be best team in the league, but we great in that little streak they got going on tonight. Oh, y'all playing them? Y'all playing them tonight? Okay. When, yeah, when the playoffs start, let me know. I I I come watch the playoffs. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I'll let y'all know. What's all your right. team name? Uh, uh, team Exquisite. <laughs> okay. I ain't see it on the thing. Oh, you know they you know they switch. Yeah, two time team. Exquisite, champion. cool. Y'all had All right, you gotta keep talking about that two-time champion, man. Come on. Hey, I, I, had, I had one year. Yeah, I had one. I had one year of it, and we should have knocked out. Yeah, nothing to do with you. <laughs> I, I, I do with me. I'm, I, hey, I, I do what I do out there. Yeah, y'all, y'all had a nice little Delaware squad out there. Don't do that. We kept it local. Hey. <laughs> local we enough sometimes. Yeah, I hear you. Hey. Keep it, keep, yeah, keep it local. Then come out at it. <laughs> All right, man. But look, we, pre- we right. appreciate you. We know you. Got, we know you gotta go, man. We are gonna go ahead and keep it going. We're a sports fan podcast, and we still here. Give me, give me about 35, 30, 35 good more luck, minutes. Man. Right, good bro. luck, man. Good luck tonight. We'll get with Thanks. you, bro. Yeah, good luck, man. Be, stay healthy, man. All right. So, uh, so y'all heard what Felix said about the prediction. So, going off of 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 you know, let's go right to the East and the West Conference Finals. Who do we think is gonna get in the Conference Finals from the East? In front of West, and then we can talk about we can talk about the matchup from there. Uh, we'll start we'll start with uh, Skinner. 
Uh, my Western Conference Finals, Lakers and Clips. You want to do like the, the prediction of the Western Conference Finals? Yeah, you can do that. Yeah, that's yeah. fine. I don't want to hold y'all. I got, I, I got Lakers and Clips in, uh, out west, and I got Miami and the Celtics out east. Um, I, I think, you know, I mean, I think with, with the Heat, I got them beating the Bucks. I don't know if you wanted to skip over there, and I got, I got them beating the Bucks in seven. Um, it'd be a good series, but in the day, they just, they have they play great team basketball. They play great team defense, and you know what I mean. I I've been saying it all year, and I could be wrong. This might be the year they finally prove me wrong, but I'm not impressed with the Bucks supporting cast. I don't care what the regular season looks like. It's the same team as last year. I've been saying it all year. When it comes down to it, are they going to hit shot? Are they going to hit these these threes they've been hitting all season? I don't see it. So I got the Heat getting them out of here in seven. And then, you know, I mean, my Eastern Conference Finals, I got the Heat and Celtics. Western Conference Finals, Lakers and Clippers. All right. Now, now, now yeah, I'm glad you said that. I'm, we're going to stick with the East for a minute because I, I want you to elaborate on the West. So we'll just get the East prediction first. Let me stay, right. let me stay right there for a second before I get to the next person. Uh, Miami and, and Milwaukee. Uh, if anybody knows Skinner, they know that he don't fool with Chris Mills. He don't like Chris Middle. You know, so when he oh says God. a supporting cast, he really means Chris Middle. Uh, he ain't talking about a supporting cast. He's talking about Chris Middle. So He's not a number two option, man. Uh, <laughs> they talking Chris Middle. But now that's a joke we got, man, because like I said, I agree. He's better as a third option, man. But let me let me say this about Chris Middleton. It's only a few guys that what, – what, what's that thing they do? with it 90, 50, 40? 90 yeah, for the free throw line, 50, 50, 40, 50 from 90. the field goal, 40 from three. And He's one of those guys. An average twenty points. An average twenty points. Thank that's you. The I mean, that's all I'm saying. That's all I'm gonna say. That's all I'm gonna say. That's, that's the regular season. Ain't too many guys done that though. Ain't too many guys do it, done that. Do it over a seven guys. game series. Okay. So what? 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 We'll see. We'll see though. Sam. Sam. Give me your, your Eastern Conference uh, prediction. It's the East. Uh, Bucks Celtics. Bucks over the Celtics in seven. Bucks over the Celtics in seven. Okay. So if we back up for a second, tell me why. The, the Heat aren't going to beat the Bucks, And then also tell me about the, the, the Celtics and Raptors matchup. Why you got them over the Raptors. I know some people are picking the Raptors, too. Yeah. The uh, Celtics-Raptors series, I think I got – I had Celtics in seven. I think it's going to come down to a few big plays, a few big shots by Kimball Walker. Uh, I ain't really watch a whole bunch of the NBA this season, but I, I don't know if Kimba's hit that had that moment where he's hit a couple great big shots. And I think yeah, he's play, done. I think in the playoffs he's gonna hit a couple of the big ones in, uh, in that series. Kimba, Kimba bang up too, man. Yeah, he banged up too. He's he, he getting yeah, himself he back up. in there though. So you got, got, so you got a whole thing going on right now. I'm about to say y'all yeah, can hear that. Hey, yo, give me a minute, yeah. yo. Hold on, bro. Hold you on. Good, hold on. Minute, you know. <laughs> <laughs> we screaming over that joint. <laughs> hey. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, it's live. It's real on the Real Sports hey. Fan Podcast, baby. Hey, we, we accept the kids and everything. We do we doing it all. We doing it all, man. We all fathers, <laughs> so we fathers first, man. All six of us. So, yeah, that's so, right. So, uh, and tell me, tell, tell me why the Bucks are, are going to beat the Heat, and how many games you got the Bucks beating the Heat in? I think this is going to be a little, little bit too much, Giannis. I got the Heat Bucks beating the Heat in seven. Uh, I think the shooting is going to keep the Heat in that. Like I said, Heat can shoot, and the the Bucks don't really guard the perimeter that well either. So they don't. The, shoot, the shooting definitely gonna keep the heat in the series, and I think it's just gonna be just gonna get a little bit too much Giannis at the end. So, but but let me let me fight back on you with this one. If, if that's your prediction, that's fine because many people want to pick the Bucks, and, and you know the best team in arguably the NBA. So I understand. But when you say a little bit too much Giannis, they're gonna need more than Giannis. That's gonna say to beat us, you know, because defensively, I don't know if you've seen, but we 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 should have lost a game to them all year. They got this last game when I was without Drogba and, and, and Butler, but we were up like twenty in that game. You know, so when you say too much Giannis, Giannis going to get his, but they're going to need, like Skinner say, somebody else to step up. So I guess my pushback to you is, who, who else is going to step up? Because I understand too much Giannis, but when we, we can throw Bam, uh, mm-hmm. Derrick Jones, Iguodala, Jay Crowder, and not even mentioning Jimmy Butler until the fourth quarter, I mean, what do you say to that? Well, I say Gian- Giannis is going to get his regardless. So what I'm saying, when I say too much Giannis, I'm thinking, I'm talking about the terms of that, that, that big moment where it's, it's, it's that big pass to a wide open Chris Middleton, where that ain't Skinner's boy, but he hit that big wide, he hit a wide open shot, or a Connaughton. Air one. ball. Wait a minute, I, I understand you don't feel him though, <laughs> but if he's wide open, he gotta hit it. So that's we'll why I say just a little bit too much Giannis in, in, in the, at the end. Okay, okay, all right, all right. I'll come back to that. Go ahead, G. 
I got Miami and uh, Toronto. Um, Miami, Toronto. See, that's good. That's different. Okay. All right. Tell me, tell me first before you even talk about Miami. Yeah, tell me why you got Toronto beating uh beating Boston. I think you're the only one got Toronto beating Boston. Like I, I mean, like I said, I think like we we talking just talking about Kimba's banged up, man, and I think it's gonna take a lot more than just you know Tatum and Brown to beat Toronto. They, they battle test. Get about smart now. Uh, no, 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 never that. But uh, mm-hmm. he, yeah. I, ain't seen, I haven't seen Smart score that much this year, man. Just I mean, he's yeah, decent. He, he, he plays the point because when Kimba's not in there, but. I don't know, man. You, I think Siakam, you know, Ibaka, you got Lowry, uh, Flan Fleet. They, they, they're gonna, they're gonna be ready, man. I mean, I, I got that going seven, yeah. though. I got it going seven. Uh, Miami. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not mad. At, I'm not mad at that. Go, ahead, go ahead get Miami. Yep. Miami. I think. I just. I think with Iggy. I think that their wings, man. They, they got some bodies to throw at uh, at Giannis and the facts. I just don't really see. Chris Middleton being able, I'm not knocking his game at all, but I just don't see him being able to lead them or step up that big, you know, in that role. And like, just like you said, man, regular season is not the playoffs. It's gonna be different. It's gonna be different ball game. In Miami, I feel like they're ready. I agree. And and and, and, and all, all, all them and and uh, but all y'all got Celtics and. Uh, I'm excuse me. All y'all got the Heat and the Bucks going seven though. Whether you got the Heat winning. Or you got yeah. the bus? Everybody say seven games though. Seven, seven yeah. games. Can you yeah, have seven games? Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. Um, you know, you make a great point though, Gary, about Toronto, man. Because I tell you, and I had to apologize to Toronto is that I didn't expect it to be this good this year. Uh, after losing Kawhi, um, you know, Siakam has taken another leap. You know, he he you know he went from most improved to an All Star. Kyle Lowry, who who people had got on before, I know I have. You know, he's a junk yard dog, man. He's like he's like like a pit bull, you know, basically, you know, in, in, in the hit of that defense. Uh Van Fleet, man, man, that, that boy can play, man. He can shoot he can it. Boogie, man. You know, he's hitty. He can boogie, man. Um, and then like you said with the bids with Gasol and Ibaka, they got everything you need. And then, and then they got a deep bench. And Nick Nurse yes. is not afraid to play guys. And the Nobis come back healthy. He's played good. Um, so 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 your pick against Boston, I honestly a lot of people are going to Toronto. Um, but Boston, I'm a, I'm leaning Boston just because I think Tatum and Brown, even though Toronto has the wings to defend them, I think they'll 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 miss Kawhi then. And also, I think when it comes to crunch time, fourth quarter, I know Larry's hit big shots before, but I, I, I much I like Siakam, I, I had to see it first before I think he can hit the big one. And I've seen Tatum and Brown play in Game Seven of the Conference Finals and, and stuff like that, experience wise. So. But uh, it's it's gonna be a great great matchup, man. Yeah. Great matchup. Um, and then as far as the Heat, you know, before we got Edward Dollar and Crowder, I probably would have still went with the Bucks. But like you said, I think with those two additions, uh, obviously we got Solomon Hill too. But you know, defensive wise, but uh, just extra bodies, just guys that can world. And that's why I was kind of talking about with Sam is that right? Giannis gonna be Giannis, but. You know, I know you say you're gonna get his, which you know, to a point he is, and he's great defensively too. But I don't know if you watched it. I understand say you watch a lot, but man, we play that zone on him. You know, we play zone a lot on him. You know, we put different guys on. I mean, we play we play y'all different than anybody. You know, so I think everybody is glad that we're playing them second round in in Boston. I mean, in Boston, Toronto, and it's not them because you know either we'll beat them or we'll get them real good for the next opponent. You know, to try to take them out. So I got Miami. You got Miami. I got Miami in seven. Yeah, I got my I got Miami in seven. Um, so let's let's talk about this West man. And I, um, you know, all of us picked the Lakers um, and the Clippers to get there. Um, and I really want to get into this matchup and why, who y'all think gonna win and why. Uh, I'm I'm gonna give it back to Gary first and just just give me a prediction. If it's Lakers Clippers again for everybody watching, uh, you know we know Phoenix pick Portland. We're gonna we're gonna go round by round. So you know, second round we'll have another show. And we'll see what's right, what's wrong. We'll we'll adjust from there. But I want to get our predictions on here. Shout out to everybody too that's uh that's that's tuning in. We got a lot of comments. Uh, uh big big D's, big Derek man. Thanks uh, for your comments, man. You always uh, a loyal listener, man. But Gary, uh, give me your Lakers Clippers. Uh, I got it going seven, but I'm, I'm I'm going with the Lakers. Uh, I think Anthony. Davis really is going to have to, you know, come into his own during this series. That's when you know he's going to have to really show everybody 
because like I just heard the other day, whenever LeBron goes to the finals or whenever it's his, it's his year, he's always had, he's got to have a dog. Kyrie was a dog. He weighed dog. So that's what Anthony Davis is going to have to do. And I'm hearing the Montrez mm-hmm. Harris is going to be the guy to stop him or slow him down. Mm-hmm. I don't see it. Just like you said, that man ain't been, he ain't been playing. He has he been playing, he has man. Been every day. And he's the same way. He can take him out the paint. He can get he, the pick mm-hmm. and roll. I mean, it's, it's, it's Lakers. It's, Lakers. It's for the Lakers to win. As far as Kawhi mm-hmm. and LeBron, I mean, it could go either way as far as that matchup. But I think LeBron, you know, him being just the smart ball player that he is and dictating the tempo, that's what's going to get the Lakers to win. Who do you think going guard LeBron in that? So you think it's going to be Kawhi, or Paul George, Marcus Moore starting off? How do you think they're going to play LeBron in that? <clears throat> I think I think they're going to start off with Paul George on, but I mean, depending on how it goes, you know, we'll see the matchup with Kawhi. Uh, I think they'll you know they'll put more on him to switch it up you know, because it always it's going to come down to see what, what type of LeBron we're going to get because that series, I mean, he can't be just a point guard. He's going to have to attack. Got you, got you, got you. Cool, cool. Um, Skinner, I know, yeah. you know, just setting the stage for everybody. Everybody know you're a Laker fan, but they know that you have uh, at least talked to me about, you know, the Clippers. So I don't know how your mind is right now, but who, who you got? <sighs> yeah, man. I got the Clippers, man. I got the Clippers. And, and you know, I, I think it's because of the – I don't like – I've been saying it for a while. LeBron plays point. You know, he puts up great numbers at the point. I don't like LeBron at the point. Not at this point in his career. I think, he, honestly, mm-hmm. I think he's too stiff out there. I think he dominates the ball a little too much for me. He, when he passes the ball, it's for you to get your shot. He's not a point guard that's going to, like Jason Kidd, where he's going to like keep the offense flowing. We're going to keep it moving. And I'm going to get my assist, but I want everybody <laughs> yeah. to be involved. That's not LeBron's game. LeBron's going to hold that ball. He's going to look at you. He's going to put you in his, where he wants you to be at. And if he passes you the ball, he's expecting you to shoot it. Everybody else to be standing around looking. I want LeBron – off that point, I want him down in the post. I want him on the four. Nobody can stop him down low. He's too rigid. He's too stiff these days, in my opinion. He'd be out there looking like James Harden at the time, looking for fouls. Yo, keep playing. Like, get a ball to Rondo. Move your big behind around. Work that triangle. I know they don't run the triangle. Work that area of the court and dominate the game. Yeah. At this point in his career, that's what really was Sarah LeBron best. So as long as he's at the point, I don't like their chances. And I got Kawhi. Whenever Kawhi is guarding LeBron, or even Paul George, they're going to set a screen. You know what I'm saying? They're going to try to switch that matchup up to where you get one of the smaller guys on LeBron, like Pat Bev, which honestly on the perimeter, that's not necessarily a good matchup for LeBron either. What to do uh, uh, with the Shemit, whenever he's in the game, they're going to try to get him yeah, on LeBron mm-hmm. so he can back him down from the top. Or, you know what I'm saying, try to muscle him to, to the rim. But I really i am not a fan of having LeBron playing a point, especially against that Clipper series. I don't like it. I don't like it one bit. AD is going to get his buckets in that series. They haven't shown all season that the Clippers can stop him. I think he's going to, he's still going to get his, you know, 27, 12, five assists, three blocks. So, you know, he's going to get all his numbers, but that's not enough. I think the Clippers are too deep. You know, they bench is quality. I'm hoping Kuz can step up and that'd be really the series that'll show. Cause it, to your point, Lance, you're right. On most teams in the NBA, Kuz is probably a starter. He, he's yeah. probably a starter at some point, either at the three or the four depending on the roster, you know what I'm saying? But on this team, I like him coming off the bench, and he's going to have to give a quality 15 points a game, 15 to 17 yeah. quality points a game. Yeah. Got has to be a good series. And it has to be consistent. It can't be game one and game four, you give me 20 points, and other games in between, you give me six, four. And th- I, we can't have that to even have a mm-hmm. chance because the Clippers are deep. And I get what you're saying about the chemistry, but I don't know if that's going to matter, man. I don't know if that's going to matter. Mm. Who, who's going to stop Kawhi? I don't know. I, I, I don't like the matchup overall. Give me the Clippers in six. In six? Wow. Clippers okay. Six. And wow. if it goes seven, uh. I know this is kind of like a double edge, so I'm probably like, <laughs> if it goes seven, uh-uh, give don't me even Brian. say the Lakers. Nope. Give nope. Me Brian. Yeah, yeah, I'm Clippers in six. Nope. <laughs> No, I feel you, Skinner. Rivers will take your prediction. Rivers will take your You ain't going to match Kellum and us. You ain't going to match Kellum and us. <laughs> I'm loading the board, baby. All right. <laughs> but um, before I get to Sam, I will say, I mean, you make valid points. Let me ask you this, though. You don't think – I mean, because it sounds like a big part of it is LeBron being at the point. But you don't think they're going to take LeBron off the ball more – 
with with, with and put Rondo because and this is why I say with Pat Bev there, Pat Bev gets under you, man. It's like you know, it's like me trying to bring the ball up and Mike Blake under me. Like guys yeah. like that, they they they're a problem. You so can't just run them over. You can't the like, you can't ball. do that. You can't yeah right. You can't do that. So I think Rondo Quinn Cook. Beyond waiters, even a lot, they're going to handle the ball a lot more in those to, games, and, and they're going to have to. And that's that's what I'm going off of. And I'm thinking, but, is but I get, let I get them do that. He going to let them because JCK going to let them know. JCK to tell them, yeah, go over there. JCK, so. get with him. Yeah, so. said Brian can't play. Yeah, huh? For uh, who you say, Gary? What you say, G? I, I said the same thing I was saying. I said he's got a he can't play a full guard that series. Right. Right. Right, yeah, right, right. He can't play the whole point. Yeah, not the whole game. No, I not agree. I game. agree with that. And, and that's and 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 that's one thing. Obviously, obviously, with Avery Bradley being gone, he could run the point too and bring it up. But that's why I say I think Deion Waiters. Um, and, and this is a thing too. I, I, let me let Sam go, and I'll, I'll talk more about that series before we get back to the East. Go, go ahead, Sam. Give me your prediction. I got the Clippers, man. I I, I picked the Clippers. Uh, I think my biggest thing is it's not a two on two game. Who's going to stand out as that as that option? I think Clippers got a better got they deeper. They got players that you're going to name who could be that third option. It's not AD and LeBron versus Kawhi and Paul George in the two on two. Paul George. So when you start, or Paul George, Bob, yeah. When you start, start looking at it like that, Skinner said Kuzma got to step up consistently. I agree with that. But if he doesn't, which he's proven that he's not, who, who's going to be that third option? Who else is going to score? Where, where you're looking at the Clippers, you got. You can name a Harold. Harold's gonna be back in better shape. And he'll be ready. He'll be ready by that time, Gary. He'll be all right. He got some time to get ready. It's talking about conference finals. Uh, Harold be ready. Lou Williams. I think the minutes that Reggie Jack Jackson gave him when uh, Beverly wasn't playing is uh, it might, Mick could be a key. Ha, ha. So I got Clippers. Come man. on, man. Stop. Come on, man. How, how many games you got the Clippers in? Clippers in six. I'm like Skinner. I don't want six or seven though. So they got to do it in six. Listen, listen. Listen, I respect the Clippers because, like you said, I think they're the better team talent-wise, you know, but I think when you got two of the top five guys, I think they can do this. So let me let me, let me, let me say this about what you said. First of all, don't name Reggie Jackson uh, to me uh, uh, as your argument, all right? You know what I mean? I, 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 you know, you better off saying Marcus. You talking Lewis. about some Quinn Cook, but you can't say he Reggie Jackson. He said it's a third option, Skinner. The third no, he did. No, that's not what I said. No, he he did. Correct. You said quote me correct. Oh. You said, hold on, let me go back there. Let me go back. Gary, correct. Am I wrong? You said, hold on, let me go back. You said it's not two on two. You said a third option guy. We we talked about coups, all right? Out of the 15. Yeah. Then you then the first person you said, you said Harold can be that guy. Then you yeah, named Lou. before you said you said Lou. Then you said Reggie yeah, Jackson. Then I said, Jackson. said, I, said I, like the the, I like the minutes Jackson has gotten since Beverly's been out. Quote me right. All right. Like you said, so so what right. so, so you're just saying he's a good piece? Yeah, right. he, he may he may be a value okay. piece. In that, in that, let me let me say let, 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 let me say this. I agree with the Clippers, but listen, Reggie Jackson might not even play a lot when the conference finals come. They're going to shorten that rotation, y'all. I understand he's a he's a backup point, but they're going to switch some things around to where he might not even play a lot. And Reggie Jackson getting there, ask KD and 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 Westbrook and them. He gets trigger happy. I hope they do play him because guys like that they're they're, they're going to they're going to shoot themselves out of it. When you talk about Montrez Harrell. I love Harold, man. He's my guy. Energy. I, I, met, I, met, I used to mess with him at Louisville, man. But listen, as a third option, yes, he's a guy that's, that can play. But he hasn't been there. Lou Will, as good as Lou Will is, he, he hasn't been to the conference finals. So I'm also going off experience. Danny Green, he's been there. Rondo, he's been there. Obviously, LeBron, LeBron and AD, and like you said, we're not even talking about them, but even Quinn Cook. And much people laugh about Quinn Cook. I know Skinner just did. He's been there. Quinn Cook's played on championship team. He, he's been there at all three levels. So I'm talking about guys that's, that's been there. You know what I'm saying? And another guy we haven't mentioned with the Lakers, who I think th- that series will play a role, is Marquise Morris. Because yeah. Marquise Morris, yeah. he's a dog. They're going to need dogs, as Skinner said in that series. Marquise, dog. That's why I'm glad he went got him. Much of people want to laugh at Dion and Gerald Smith. I, they're both dogs, though. No, they, Dion, Dion ain't nothing to laugh at. Uh, they ain't nothing to laugh at, is he, bro? He only twenty eight. He only twenty eight. Like people say, he still, you know what I mean. So, so those they they went and got some dogs for that, you know. So, you know, so that's what I throw back at you. But hey, it's gonna be a great series. I just hope it gets to that. Everybody healthy, and we see that because before the year we wanted to see that. Oh, I hope we get that. I hope we get that, man. And then so we got two for the Clippers and two two for the Lakers. Um, and I know some people probably commented on here. 
and we'll see what some of their predictions is as well. I do want to go back to the East real quick because I know we, we talked about who's going to get to the conference finals, but we never talked about who's going to win. Um, so, Gary, you got Miami and Toronto uh, in the Eastern Conference Finals. Who, who's going to win that? I got Miami winning that, but I got it's seven. Miami and seven. So, so you got us going to the finals. Yeah. Got us going to the finals. Okay. Okay. All right, Sam, Sam um, you had uh, Bucks and Celtics. Um, who you got if it matches up that going to the finals? Bucks and seven. Bucks and seven. Bucks and seven. I, I tell you what, if the Bucks and the Celtics do make it to that, it ain't going to take the Bucks seven games, but that's just my opinion. Skinner, uh, you had Heat and Celtics. Who you got? I got Celtics and six. Celtics and six. Celtics and six. Mm-hmm. Can y'all give me some reasons why y'all made those predictions before I give you before I give you mine? Skinner, we, we, you can start with you. Why do you got – what makes you go Celtics? I think if, if, if Kimba is, is – Obviously, he's not going to be Kimba of, of, you know what I mean, of the early Kimba. But if he's, like, you know, starting to catch his rhythm, I think they've been holding him back. From what it seemed like, I think they've been playing him less minutes than what he could actually play. So I'm hoping by the time the finals come around, they cut him loose a little bit, give him 30, 35 minutes a night, and let him really go out there and hoop. I think he's going to be a huge difference maker for that team. And the thing about it is the Celtics have so many wing options. You got – you got Gordon Hayward out there. You got uh, uh, Tatum out there. You got Brown out there. You got uh, um, Mr. Boy coming off the bench. I just talked about Gary. Uh, um, who? Smart. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, smart. Mark is smart out there. They smart. they whole team. Is, they whole team is based off that that wing rotation, and I like how they play. They play good D. They switchable. I think Miami's strength is their defense. But I don't necessarily know if they can match up well with with those with all those wings that the Celtics got. And I know they got a lot of wings themselves, but the Celtics got wings that can all get busy, and they, they they're relentless, man. I like I like that, and I think Kimba a little bit healthier is going to put them over the top. Gary, since you got the same prediction, um, Celtics and uh, Celtics and Heat, you had you say you said you got the Heat, right? Okay, so you got the Heat, you got the Celtics, and you and and you got Bucks and Celtics. And who did you say, Sam? Who you, who you got with Bucks and Celtics? I'm sorry. Bucks I'm and Celtics. I'm sorry. Bucks and Celtics. Bucks and Celtics. Okay. Okay. You said Bucks and Celtics. Okay. I'm in him. Okay. Bucks and seven. Okay. You like that seven games too, don't you? That seven games. That's why. That's right. I said they, it wasn't going to take them that long. Let, let me say this about that real quick. Um, Skinner, your points, man, are real good because as crazy as it sounds, I told people this. I just told Darrell Brown that season Celtics fan on Facebook. I think we match up better with the Bucks than we do the Celtics. I agree. That's what's crazy. 100%. Like, like, 100%. like, 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 like. I, I was always saying, like, I don't want to play the Celtics in the second round, or I was trying to get to the third seed to, you know, like the Bucks. I think are a little bit easier for us than the Celtics. And, and Skinner made the point kind of because those wings, man. Like, even though we got guys that throw at Giannis, those are different type of wings. Those are shot right. makers. Brown right. and Tatum are shot makers, man. Like and then Kemba, we when we mentioned Kemba, he's a problem, and and and, and he's they ra- ra- started go, you know put his minutes up as the bubble went on. I think he'll be healthy enough to to get a, to to at least get to the finals. I do. And then Gordon Hayward, I haven't even mentioned him. Now one thing with Gordon Hayward to remember, I just forgot this. He is going to leave at some point in the playoffs. He got a child that's going to be born, so uh-huh. that might hurt. Depending on, I forgot about that. That might hurt and and tilt my. You know, you know, when it comes that. to that, well, I, I forgot totally about it until I just mentioned, hey, I forgot about it. That's going to be key when that is. And he they got need him. four games on the way back. I mean, yes. four days. Yeah, four, four days, four days, y'all. y'all. So Ooh. that's going to be tough. But like Skinner say, man, one, one thing to remember, we forget about Marcus Smart. He's a dog. You know he's what I mean? Dog, he, man. He, deep, 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 defensively, he's, he's, you know, first team all NBA. I'm sure he'll be this year or at least second team. But another thing he started doing better, he started scoring like he did at Oak, Oak State. He been getting like buckets, yo. But, but his game, yeah, yeah, his game, thank you. His game has been better. Like, offensively, he, he's looking for a shot, and he's knocking down shots and stuff, too. Tice, Daniel Tice, knows his role, plays it. Canner knows his role, plays it. Uh, uh, the guy, the boy, the backup point guard that um, got in the league late, uh, uh, Watermaker, Brad Watermaker, yeah. knows his role. And then they're well coached, too. So, I've got them beating us, and that hurt. There, I know you watch. That hurt me to say, 
But I got the Celtics going to the finals to play the Lakers, and I've got Lakers over Celtics uh, in six games. Uh, what's y'all finals prediction? Who wants to start? Who y'all give me y'all finals prediction? I got uh, I, my finals. I got uh, Lake, I got Clippers over Celtics, and uh, looks like what I say here. I said in seven. I, I think I'm tripping on that, but I'll tell. I'll stay <laughs> I got I got Clippers yeah, over so, Celtics yeah. in seven. Cool. Cool, cool. Yeah. I can't wait till we get back to this the next round so we can see like even if, we even if we said, Well, man, they were playing like this, where we at? And then just not not that you want to change your mind, but just even looking at it after a couple more weeks, it's gonna be interesting how the playoffs are. Saying saying who you got? what's your finals prediction? Because you got Bucks and Clippers in the finals, right? Clippers in seven. I, I I'm sticking with the Clippers. <laughs> Love the seven games. <laughs> Love the seven. <laughs> and that's gonna be it'd be a good series. If it do you go that though, I, I could definitely see. Seven games, busting, busting Clippers. Though. That that'd be that'd be good. Gary, Gary, who you got? Cause you got my Heat in there going against the Lakers, and that'd be yeah. LeBron going against his old squad, even though he ain't going to get going to South Beach. Who you got? I got Lakers in six. Lakers in six. Lakers in six. Lakers in six. So 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 cool. So we got we got two Clippers. Go I seen that zone defense too, man. That, Thank you, man. He's going to throw that in whenever they need it. You know what I mean? Whenever, you know, yep. switch it up, the team different looks. It's going it's to mess yep. some teams up. Yeah. Yeah, it could definitely mess some teams up. And our, our depth is good, too. Like, Miles Leonard started earlier in the season. He don't even barely play now because that's how much deeper we got it. Same thing with Derrick Jones. He started. He barely played now. So, we definitely got the depth. But I, I'm going to give the Celtics over us. But I can't wait to see this unfold tomorrow, man. I, I mean, the fact that we got here, playoffs, in the bubble, with everything going on, it's it's been, it's been great, man. It's been great. So, um, NBA, man, anything NBA else y'all want to say? NBA got it right, man. NBA NBA got, NBA got right. NBA got right. And, and, and saying that's a great point, man, because I know you were one of the guys that you know didn't want them to come back, or you know was unsure about them coming back. Did they kind of change their mind as far as not just the code, but even the platform they've been using, and not just the men, man. The WNBA women have done great. Uh, you know, they, they're always wearing reality yeah, hockey. Thank you, man. They, you know. You know, so so so, Sam, do you feel differently now as far as the NBA coming back? Yeah, a little bit, because I, I heard I, I read some articles and heard something about uh, how the NBA also on the background is bringing in some um, what's the mm. word? Uh, some some political figures to discuss mm. how they go, how they can keep the, um, the 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 process going for the Black Lives Matter. Mm. Uh, so, mm. like I said, knowing that they're still focused on what they're bringing in the bubble and focusing on that. Yeah, I feel a bit more comfortable with that. Like, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, and, and that was always my whole thing is like, and, and we get we get red clothes. Um, but I, that was always my whole thing is like, the guys that aren't there, don't get me wrong, I know they're doing stuff, but we don't hear it now, you know. And that was right. always my case that it's back now. So now we we hear and see what the other ones are doing. Like the WNBA women, for instance. Like I don't know if y'all 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 watch too much of that, but their, their ball's been good or, or heard anything about that. But the Atlanta Dream owner, she's against the Black Lives Matter movement. You know, so they've all wear, you know, have wore uh, shirts telling people to vote for the other party against her, and they've been vocal in in and the Breonna Taylor shirts and uh, the the Sandra Bland shirts, and I mean they've just done so many different things. So, you know, it's 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 been good, man. It's it's, it's been real good, real good. So, anybody else, man? Before we close out, man, I know I I know I held y'all, but it was real good, man. We got into it. No, man, we had a good session tonight. I'm just happy this going on. I've been a huge proponent of the man. bubble since the beginning. Um, yeah, you had, man, you, yeah. For, yeah. I mean, from the political reason and just from the basketball perspective. I mean, mm-hmm. you know, it, you it's know. the fact that you can make more of a present being vocal and being on camera and, you know, expressing your opinions and, and you know, raising awareness, raising, uh, you know, money. I mean, the entire mm-hmm. thing should be done in front of the people because you get more buy-in that way. And the NBA don't have the type yeah. of fans that the NFL got. It's not like it's a bunch right. of old... Right. Rednecks. That's true. Just watch the NBA. See what I'm saying? That's a, young, good, point. Young, young yeah, that's a good point. So that's a, this another mm-hmm. platform to bring us closer together. So I, all that stuff, Kyrie was talking, yeah. was crazy to me. Yeah, and they did do a poll about how how fans feel now, and it, I think it was like maybe close to sixty percent said they they should play. It was a few that were still unsure, and some that said they shouldn't. But it was, you know, everybody loved it. Um, and 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 what they've also done. I was reading something earlier. I was trying to find it right now, but I can't find it. But maybe Skinner, you can have it. But they also found something that they're doing, NBA's team, about getting like a saliva testing for the COVID. They partnered with someone to even do a new type of testing for COVID. So they, they've they been doing a lot of things, man, between COVID, between, uh, you know, uh, equality and Black Lives Matter and 
systemic racism and all that. I mean, they've done a lot. Why even their players have been donating, they're going to be donating their, their money, you know, to, to, you know, to places that it should go to and it needs to go to. So it's been great, man. It's, it's been great. But again, man, I appreciate everybody, man. Sam, Gary, first time on, definitely not your last scanner. Uh, Felix, where he had to go. Bryce, even with the, even with the babies, you know what I mean? I appreciate everybody, man. Thanks for everybody watching. Fellas, man, we'll, I'll let y'all uh, know when the next one is. Uh, make sure y'all listen out tomorrow, uh, episode 27, man. I got my old coach coming through, one of my favorite people in the world, Coach Mike Butler. He'll be here. We'll be live at 7 p.m. tomorrow night. Yeah, butts be on. Yeah, butts be on tomorrow, man. So it's going to be dope, man. Can't wait. So appreciate everybody, man. Stay safe. I'll let y'all, man. All right, Peace. Fellas, we out of here. All right, now. Peace.